Right. Where's my little ears? Are my ears ready? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Do I have ears? No, I don't think so. Oh, I kind of do. I just start, f- fucking forgot my chicken nuggets in the air fryer. <laughs> They're so warm when you're done. No like, chance. This is gonna be. This is gonna be an hour and a half. You, you fry them again so they're Dang crisp it. as hell. And they're black. Oh, yeah. yeah, literally. It doesn't taste the same. Oh no, they're the organic ones too. They're so good, you guys. Oh, she got. I got day some vegan corn dogs dude like as like housewarming i I ordered her a bunch of groceries and stuff because i had no water yeah she's like (laughs) i've been stranded at my house all day because like i think my mom had her car yeah one of my parents had my car for some reason and she's like i've been stranded i'm all why didn't you fucking call me i was down the street she literally (laughs) up the road so i instacarted her like a million groceries and like stuff she needed for the house but i got her a bunch of vegan like stuff i was like i hope it's good it was really good oh my god like vegan breakfast burritos are you vegetarian um i eat things with wings Mm. so no cows these days or pigs that's just like no like real red meat or anything no not even the the piggies Mm. yeah things with wings do you feel better oh yeah that's yeah. the tea of it all, isn't it? It sucks. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Every time I see a burger, I'm just like, God, that looks so good. That's true, but with <laughs> so like crispy good. chicken sandwiches. Oh my God. Like, oh. With chicken in it. Yeah. I will fuck up a chicken sandwich. Let me tell you something. You want the best chicken burger. Yeah. Stout. And make Ooh. sure you get a pretzel. It's called the B56 chicken burger. <laughs> little Ooh. arugula, Thousand Island, piece of bacon. Ooh, yum. Arugula. I yeah. love arugula. Oh my fucking God. I put that shit on everything. Me too. Everything. And does it add anything? I don't know. Mm, no. Probably not. The Just flavor. for vibes. It's all for the vibes at that point. <laughs> the aesthetic <laughs> of the leaves. <laughs> Justin's like, that's what the tripod is. It's the arugula <laughs> of the setup. We need it. Right. Oh my God. This is going to be straight chaos today, you guys. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so pumped. Uh, we have our emotional support animals. That's what they're for. Because today is... <laughs> All I had, like, a lot of these stories when I was reading them was, like, what the damn hell. You're right. I'm sure. That's, what, like, all of them. But what yeah. the damn hell? Like, whatever that show is from. <laughs> That's from something. That's your brand, Maria. Yeah. It is. It's the strange and unsettling. Yeah. It's, like, the only reason I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You're like, thanks a lot, I guess. Okay. <laughs> thanks. Oh, you're dating your brother? <laughs> Tell me more. Thank you for posting this on the internet. (laughs) I love you. Oh my gosh. Hi guys. Welcome back to another episode of Two Hot Takes. You might have recognized their iconic laughs, but today I'm joined by Dason and Drew Afawalo. Woohoo! The Afawalo sisters. (laughs) Two idiot girls. Born and bred. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. (laughs) There it is. <laughs> Drew was on an episode a while ago. It's probably our one year anniversary. No, truly, it is. We were saying that when we came over mm-hmm. here. I was like, literally, I remember. That's why I said, look how far we've come, Morgan. Oh crazy. my god! I know, makes me mosh. Look at us. <laughs> look at us. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> the class. <Yeah. laughs> I love it. Yeah, we have come a long way, and now we're we're kind of uh, initiating initiating Dason into this I know chaos. welcome brother I've only ever watched I've never participated so I'm excited welcome to the fold brother happy to have you should I are not you be though? excited are you though <laughs> no I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with um a pretty good one we'll we'll maybe ease you into it um but more lighthearted, I would say versus straight catatonic okay. <laughs> anxiety inducing <laughs> I'll be right back yeah <laughs> right literally are you sure you want to be here yeah <laughs> no 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 it's gonna be good guys we got this yeah we got I, this. I believe in us I think it's gonna be fun I agree we go, yeah mm-hmm. uh-huh. I have mm-hmm. more faith I think than than you but it's okay <laughs> it's okay okay let's dive in how much I want to scare you right away. Let's just jump right in. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Head first. Okay. okay. We're going to keep it a little lighter up front. Up front, mm-hmm. okay? My boyfriend won't stop calling me Tony Pizza. <laughs> I, female 21, and my boyfriend, male 21, currently live together and have been together about four months. To explain why we are living together at the four-month mark, we started out as roommates but then started dating. I have to say... My boyfriend has never been good at pet names. Some early ones were Little Stubster and Sour Meat. (laughs) One of my nicknames for him, in comparison, is Little Bird. Anyways, about two weeks ago, he started calling me Tony Pizza. (laughs) This doesn't even make sense, and he uses it more often than my actual name. 
He is obsessed. It <laughs> honestly bothers me that he can't even bother to find a somewhat nice nickname for me. I have had a couple of conversations with him about it, but he says he just can't think of anything better. <laughs> what, what do I do? Is this going to become a bigger problem or should I even address it? I hate being Tony Pizza. <laughs> I feel like I may have seen this on Twitter. On Twitter. Yeah. Well, just the Tony uh, Pizza sounds familiar, but yeah. I think it's so what funny. What is that from? Do I don't. Think I think he name, just made it up. I think maybe her name's like Antonia or something. I, but he called her sour meat, so like I also can see it being like <laughs> so she, random. Her name's like Rachel, and he's like Tony Pizza, <laughs> and maybe he keeps doing because he knows it bothers her. Yeah, and that makes it funnier. The fact that she's been like, I really hate that name, and he's like, I just feel like. Nothing's more perfect. Then you're just Tony. Tony. Yeah, Tony. It's pizza. giving Tony pizza. <laughs> I think if you were to start bothering him back, you should start calling him Pizza Tony. Yeah, <laughs> just just like reverse <laughs> it. Oh, no, reverse it, bitch. Two can play this game. <laughs> you can call him Pizza Tony. <laughs> oh my god. The top comment on this one's a little unhinged too. Leave him. He was out of his league dating the one and only Tony Pizza. Anyways. <laughs> No, literally. Honestly, that's kind of hilarious. But what makes it funny is that it bothers her so much yeah. that he's just like, he's doing it out of love, you could tell, but he's also kind of like just ruffling her feathers. Yeah. Like yeah. It's like her brother, like when we tease him, it's about stuff that makes no sense because it makes it way funnier. Yeah, it's when silly. he gets mad. So I'm like, no, you didn't change your chonies today. And he gets yeah. so mad. It's just the silly shit. Even though I know he did. <laughs> It's way funnier. I, honestly, I can't even like really talk shit because like my boyfriend would find that fucking hilarious. Yeah. Like he would call me Tony Pizza if he if he thought of that first. He wouldn't. Yeah. Maybe I wrote that. <laughs> this is you from the future. Yeah. <laughs> it's me like predicting the future. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start calling you Tony Pizza. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like I'm saying, I'm telling you, like an annoying nickname like would make him laugh so hard. Like something silly like yeah. that. Do you, what do you call people who like your podcast, like your fans or whatever? I if you called them all Tony Pizza, that would be so funny. <laughs> the Tony Pizzas? The Tonys. <laughs> Too hot Tonys. Too hot the Tony Pizzas. <laughs> Tonys. Do you guys want to be Tonys? I Tonys think, would be funny. I think this could be a thing. I, I think go. Too hot takes. Tonys. The Tonys. Okay. There you go. I'm sold. Everyone's a Tony. <laughs> That's so funny. You're either a Tony or you're a pizza in this yeah, world. You choose. You decide. I would definitely be the pizza. I think so too. I'm cheesy. Jason's a Tony, and I'm I gassy. Give off Tony mm-hmm. Energy, yeah. What's to- okay? What would you define it? A Tony, yeah. I feel like a Tony is just someone who's there for the vibes. Okay, there you I go. like that. Jason brings the vibes. Yeah. Morgan and I are people who like keep the house from burning down. Sure, that's the pizza. There that's you the go. pizza. Yeah. Oh God, that's so good. Okay. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. I, I feel like Justin gives off like Mad Tony energy too. He's a big yeah, Tony, big Tony. <laughs> especially compared to Morgan. He's yeah. a big Tony. Yeah, I'm just here to bring. The and good so vibes. is Billy. Billy's a big Tony, Tony too. There you go, Tony for sure. Maybe that's the the success of it all. You need one Tony one and one pizza. pizza. So you got to find your Tony. No, my pizza. I am the Tony. Oh, you are the Tony. <laughs> Me forgetting immediately. See, uh, <laughs> you're right. You got to find pizza. Yeah, too many Tonys I've encountered. You need to find. The yeah, pizza. yeah. You can't both be a Tony. It doesn't work. The fact that we're talking, it's like starting to make sense. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> The longer I talk about it, I'm like, yeah, that's yeah, so profound. Right. We need to send this to her so she doesn't feel so bad about it. I know. There you go. Because the, the one comment that she goes, I hate being Tony Pizza. <laughs> I hate it. Please, like, I hate it. It's like, it's okay, sweetie. He's probably like, too, like do you want to be Tony Pizza or Sour Meat? I think Sour Meat's funny, but I'd rather be Tony Pizza for sure. Sour Meat's funny as long as it's not like a vagina reference. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I <laughs> what agree. if that's what... Maybe that reminds him of Tony Why Pizza. Why are you reminding your boyfriend of meats so much? Maybe it's a you thing. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know. Look inward. Yeah, Look. maybe. <laughs> what about you? Some pizza? introspection. You're, yeah. you're the pizza, he's the Tony. There you go. Mm-hmm. I think uh, I was going to say something right now that had something to do with <laughs> Tony, Tony Pizza. pizza. <laughs> I remember it was, Twitter, I thought I thought it was so funny. Nick. Yeah, I think I remember seeing that. I just remember the name Tony Pizza. I just think that that's so random. Which makes it hilarious. Well, and that she's posting about how mad it makes her. It makes it way funnier. There's I'm, like nothing. I'm looking he made for it Tony up. Pizza. There is a brand called yeah. Tony's. The little party pizza. The little. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Okay, One time okay. I saw this thing. Uh, I forget what it was. I think it was like a, a tweet or something. And 
this <laughs> this guy said that he got into this like full blown like screaming argument with his girlfriend because they were arguing about whether the Little Caesars guy says eat some pizza or pizza or pizza pizza. pizza. Yeah. Oh God, what is it? It's I, pizza pizza. I, I think it's eat some pizza. Oh, you think so? I think so. This is like a Mandela. Effect. I was just about to say. <laughs> I was just about to say what or if maybe it's a Mandela? He's saying Tony pizza, but we don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying like that seems like a Tony pizza situation. Yeah. Like she just knew it was bothering him, mm -hmm. so she was like, no. I think it's pizza pizza <laughs> and he was getting so, he said like he got so mad he had to leave the house for a while <laughs> oh, <laughs> so infuriated God. that's what? love honestly i have to take my hat off i'm sweating take it off <laughs> i'm not gonna make it you take it off we can all take them off <laughs> we made it one story the little tail amazing. pizza pizza <laughs> yeah exactly it is pizza pizza, pizza, right? pizza. it I was introduced it. in maybe 1979. she was right Maybe. Women are always right. Yeah, mad for no reason. Believe women, all women. Women are always right. Mm -hmm. There was something recently where we were like fixing a barn door at my house in Minnesota. And um, we like took off the hinges on this old door and it had these carriage bolts and I I had to wrench them off and then bolt cut them off. It was, just, it was a whole ordeal. But I was like, oh, there's four bolts in each one. And me and Justin go to this store called Menards. It's like a hardware store in Minnesota. And I was like, okay, yeah, I need to get two packs of these because they have four in each pack. And like, it, that doesn't work. And he goes, no, there was only three bolts on each door, on each thing. And I go, no, there was four. And he goes, no, there was seriously three. And I go, okay, well, I'll get, I'll get six. But like, if we have to come back, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> <laughs> and he literally goes, just get the, get the eight. <laughs> like, you're probably, he goes, you're always right. And I'm like, those are fighting words, buddy. I'm that's always so right. Funny. The amount. I was like, bro. See, such a Tony move, Justin. That's really The amount of yeah. time. Oh my God. I just told um, our cousins, Josh and Mayo, this, but like, I got into a full blown, like, literally, like a yelling argument with my boyfriend, Billy, because I, we were sitting in my car and I was like watching, we were watching TikToks separately of each other mind you he just <laughs> recently got a tiktok yeah. so like oh, wow. all of a sudden he's he would watch him in his browser if yeah he, or, or i would just text them to yeah. him and he'd watch them yeah on, on safari or whatever or on his instagram reels oh god like, he was one of those like an old guy <laughs> yeah. seen it like two months after yeah. the fact. Yeah. that's <laughs> how mayo like, is have you seen this <laughs> that's what one of our cousins yeah. is yeah so i was watching this dog or it was like a dog like a tiktok of a dog and it was like a little wiener dog and she was like overcoming something like it was just like a really sweet video okay and I show it to Billy. I'm like, oh, my God, look how cute. Right. And then he watches it. And he goes, oh, I've seen that. And I go, yeah. He goes, yeah, you sent it to me. And then I go, I, I didn't send you this TikTok. <laughs> Mind you, just myself and, J and Jared, his brother, are the only ones who send him TikToks. Yeah. So he goes, no, you definitely sent that to me. And I go, I've never seen this TikTok. Like, and do you see a heart on it already? Yeah, I, li no. I literally go, I literally have never seen this. It just came up. Yeah, and I go, you're looking at it on the For You page. Like, I was turning, and he goes, hmm, you've definitely sent that to me. So <laughs> the way that, like, it, I'm not even kidding, it It was an argument that lasted, like, two hours because I was so angry, and I'm I just don't understand, like, why. Why are you gaslighting me? Why you do that to me? <laughs> why are you gaslighting me about this wiener dog? Why yeah. do you do that to me? I was like, and it does, he goes, I don't know why you're getting so mad. Like, you're the one who forgot that you sent that to me. And I was like, dude. Oh, my Say God. it to me one more time. <laughs> Say it to me I'm one more fucking lose time. It. <laughs> lose my shit. Well, now I can't be the only one with the hat on. Yeah, no, you How are you not sweating? You Do you have a wig on? No. Oh, yeah, the way she's trying to me. clock me like that. Your no, hair just, is so long. Kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How do you hide all that hair under a wig when you do the wigs? Oh, my God, girl. With a wing and a prayer. Um, my like your hair. bald cap must be. Do you wear a bald cap? <laughs> no, he just no, braids he it just down. Braids it so good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my he god, he braids it so tight to my head that I can literally hear my own, like, oh. feel my thoughts leaving my fucking brain. God, yeah, that just sounds. This nice. I have some extensions in, but that's it. No very wig. nice, very nice. Thank you. Okay, speaking of food, am I the asshole for dropping our dinner on the ground and walking out when my boyfriend asked me, "Quote, what's for dinner tonight, bitch?" Is that that TikTok trend? I was over at my boyfriend's apartment this weekend and I was cooking dinner because he was studying for exams. I made pasta and a chunky sauce with meatballs and veggies. I told him dinner was ready and he goes, what's for dinner tonight, bitch? With like a lot of emphasis on the last word. <coughs> I was fed up and had a pretty rough day with work and I have some awfully bad associations with that word being used by other people in my life who were pretty abusive. So I was so irritated that I dropped the pot of pasta sauce I'd been carrying 
right on the ground and was like, quote, well, nothing's for dinner tonight now. And I better not hear you using that word again. It's for the girls. (laughs) (laughs) He was freaking out about how sauce had landed on his rug. And he even said, you're seriously acting like a bitch right now. And I don't know what else to call it. I just walked out and got takeout for myself and went to my friend's house. She thought it was funny, but my boyfriend was furious. He kept texting and calling and sending me voice memos, trying to explain that saying, what's for dinner tonight, bitch, was a TikTok trend. And that he was just quoting someone as a joke to put on TikTok. I thought that was the shittiest excuse ever. And it doesn't matter if he saw it as a joke or stole the joke. Mm -hmm. It was still disrespectful. Mm -hmm. But it didn't change the fact he thought that shit was funny. To demean me when I was trying to do him a favor. Like hell, I came over when he was studying to make a home-cooked dinner. And he decides it's time for jokes. (laughs) <laughs> so I put my phone on do not disturb for the night and split a bottle of wine with my friend and her roommate. The next morning, he was sending me angry texts demanding I clean his rug because he was too busy with exams to do it. I was shocked he left it overnight. That's disgusting. <laughs> I, I texted him back saying, quote, yeah, so that's the bitch tax, honey. Leave me alone till you're ready to handle your own cooking and cleaning because this bitch isn't anymore. Also, it's vile you left that soaking in all night. He called me and told me he was okay with doing his own household work, but I did throw a full pot of sauce at the ground, so that's on me to clean up. I told him, yeah, no, I'm not comfortable doing chores for you if you see me like your bitch. He told me he didn't, and it was just a trend, and I got pissed off. He was playing that TikTok trend bullshit excuse again, and I told him, well, I'm starting a trend called saucing, where as a little joke, people throw pasta sauce around. You can't be mad because it's just a little trend, a little jokey joke, just a little prank, bro. He got really pissed off and hung up on me. And now I'm seriously wondering if this dumb fucking TikTok joke is going to be the end of things between us. Am I the asshole for how I reacted when my boyfriend asked me, what's for dinner tonight, bitch? No. No. (laughs) Yeah. In short, uh, no. Funny how he used to study, but he's watching TikTok. Yeah. Well, also, like, <laughs> you did the you okay. You did the joke. Look what happened. Yeah. Now what? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. did you get what you wanted? Did you get the content? Like, there there will quite literally n- never be anything less funny to me than like couple prank. Yeah. I shit. Think. Like, leave that in 2016, babe. Yeah. Like, we've advanced far I, beyond that. I can't stand that shit. Especially when it ev- involves like being abusive <laughs> towards your spouse. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like. It's I so would do bad. the same shit. In fact, I would have done something a lot worse, probably. Throwing the sauce on him. <laughs> I would have thrown the sauce on the ground and then taken a human shit on the ground, too, right <laughs> next to it. And then I would have been like, clean both of them shits up and also go fuck yourself. I don't want to laugh. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's, yeah. That, that's like something like her empathy is getting the best of her. And that's why she's like, do you guys think I went too far? Yeah. But that's because she cares and it really did hurt her, especially. Even okay, let's say that was purely the driving force was the joke. Mm-hmm. If you know that she's sensitive to that word, do you think that's a funny joke to play on her? Yeah. No, like immediately you're a fucking psycho. Mm-hmm. Like you're insane if you thought that would be funny to use a trigger word on her on purpose, like for content, intentionally yeah. for views. Yeah. That makes you extra vile. So like, I, I even with the before that, I was like no. With the context, even more so no. Mm-hmm. Like, leave it there for the rest of your life for all I care. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, that's so weird that he didn't clean it up. Like, that just goes that's to so show gross. he was expecting her to do it. Yeah. He like, was absolutely expecting it. He, he was like, she's going to come back and yeah. she's going to apologize to me and she's going to clean well, it up. Absolutely. He, yeah, and she's like, no. And he goes, well, what about... It's been sitting there all night. Are you being serious? Yeah, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's not soaking come over. in. I've At read that point, sauce it's too. It's yeah. done. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Done. Sauce, yeah. <laughs> At that point, it's you're living with that stain yeah. for the rest of your life now. Oh, yeah. And it's you're just done. leaving like open meat on your ground. Like <laughs> raw. Like it's not raw because it's cooked, but like it's gonna go bad fast. Free ball meat just on the ground in your yeah. apartment. <laughs> he has people over, he goes, Don't mind that. My bitch girlfriend needs to clean it. Just step over it. Just I go. could see What's him leaving dinner, it there, bitch? though. Yeah. Yeah. Guys are like sometimes like that where it's going to be moldy before he cleans it. Yeah. That's disgusting. Uh, that is so gross. Like, 
Ugh. And it's also like, yeah, like you said, the expectation of it all. That's is, why he didn't clean it. It's arguably more offensive than what he actually said. Well, yeah. also the fact that he doubled down after when she did yeah. react. Yeah. And, and then like, he was, I'm, I would have just been like, I'm sorry. I was supposed to be funny and it wasn't. Instead of being that, like, it's yeah. a trend. Yeah, Come please, clean the rug. Yeah. <laughs> that. He cares more about the stain than he does about how the it made feelings, her feel, yeah. which well, is the problem. And then to double down and be like, you're acting like a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> after you know that word, literally just triggered her and yeah. caused the Keeps fiasco. Going. See, second bitch, I'm taking a shit on the floor. Yeah. Immediately. This is... <laughs> on top of the sauce. I think this one is done, honestly. I would. Kick her, kick him to the curb, babe. You yeah. don't need someone like that. Someone who, like, intentionally, like, twists, like, the knife in your wounds that you've, like, been vulnerable about with them. Like, mm-hmm. that person has problems. That's weird. Well, and then how silly is he to watch the trend and think it's real? Like you get told they're all planned. Yeah, like the exactly. people have seen do it, like they're like in it. Like yeah, that's the such both a good people point. are involved. Yeah. And he's like, this is gonna go viral. Well, he's supposed to be studying. He's like, TikTok time. Yeah. Oh, the girls are like, gonna eat this up. The hoes are gonna love <laughs> this. That's what he's thinking. Uh, I just saw one that made me like actually like tear up for this poor girl. And I mean the account has like six million or seven million followers so like you know they've been doing this stupid like couples prank shit forever Mm -hmm. but there was one where she like built this like extravagant lego it was like some star wars ship or something yeah and he literally goes oh this is cool and like chucks it across the room and it just shatters and her face after like she's either like a really good actress yeah or it actually hurts like over it she's just like so depleted and someone stitched it and they go this is what emotional abuse looks like. Yeah, I saw no, that too. literally. And also, like, who are you? You prank versus prank? You yeah. know what I mean? And they like, didn't even last. And look what happened. They literally Ugh. said it. It puts such a strain on their relationship. Yeah. It's not even funny because then you just have to keep, like, outdoing your last prank mm-hmm. to each other. But then at what point, like, like I said, at what point is it abuse at that point? Like, yeah. Especially if you're doing it purely for views like if you're doing it to make content because you think it's funny and then you find out after okay that's not funny and i can't do that anymore that's just like you like being an idiot yeah but you like intentionally harassing and abusing your partner for the enjoyment of others yeah that's weirdo shit like i'd be on edge all, all the time. time. I can't live like that. No. I'm sorry, I can't. Like, I got enough cortisol as it is. Yeah. I don't like being pranked in general. Like, I don't like pranks. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't I think they're them. funny. I think they're juvenile. But also, like, I like it depends on what it is. Like, if it's, like, scaring someone when they walk around a corner, that's funny. But yeah, if a it's... Little, a little boo here and there. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, but if it's, like, a bit that you commit to for <laughs> however long, like... Mm-hmm. Poison fear, what are you, like yeah. what are you Lance 210 yeah. where's that guy at <laughs> I went to the good. graveyard and resurrected a Ouija board question mark prank yeah. you know what I mean killed my friends prank in front of my grandma prank yeah pretended my mom was dead prank <laughs> like what is wrong with you oh. I don't know if he did that one I'm sure I is that the guy that married his best friend's mom oh I don't know about no, that no that was David Dobrik oh <laughs> <laughs> remember you married Jason's mom Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh Morgan God. not knowing who David Dover. I'm like, I don't know who was that. I actually never watched his stuff. Yeah. And I ran into him at the um Oh my god, what was that? Neon Carnival at Coachella. Oh, oh, shit. oh yeah. Okay. And like the way he was like talking to people, oh my god. Like my friend Lauren got his number. It was the weirdest interaction I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I saw I just him. wanted to crawl away. I've only seen him from a distance. I've never met him. I saw him at the at a Super Bowl party. Yeah. And he was with Dixie D'Amelio and um, Noah Beck. Yeah. Yeah. They were all three of them together. Tiny people. Very. When you when you come into this industry, <laughs> you realize everybody is 5'3". Yeah. Like, I want to meet Tom Cruise. I've heard he's real small. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's I heard, crazy, but yeah. I just want to see how, t- how tiny he is. <laughs> I want to see how tall he is. <laughs> yeah. I want to see how, much, how many. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what's for dinner, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom Cruise. <laughs> My rug, it's him. <laughs> It's a prank. prank. It's It's a prank. Tom, please. There is a little bit of an edit. Mm. Edit to address a comment I've gotten a lot. Quote, but did you tell him not to call you a bitch? Like, how would he know otherwise? And so OP goes, honestly, if someone has gotten to the age of 30 and not realized that women as a whole do not like having demeaning slurs used against them, they're beyond my help. This isn't something that needs to be told. I shouldn't have to go through life like, hey, man, just in case you were thinking I might like demeaning slurs against my gender, 
used on me? I don't actually. And if you are about to comment something like that, let me just tell you in no uncertain terms, women do not like being called bitches by men. Do not call women bitches. If you needed to be told that is unkind, consider yourself officially told. Now you have no excuse not to understand. (laughs) I think that's fair. I think calling it a slur is maybe a step too far. (laughs) Calling a girl a bitch is not a slur. But it is a mean thing to say. Yeah, it is a prejudiced term. Obviously, yeah. it's an oppressive in term. In the context of like a, of a man. Yeah, it's a, an it, oppressive yeah. term for sure. I don't I know if it would qualify as a slur. It's not like but I get, I, I get what you're saying. Because we can say the word bitch if we think of other slurs. E- exactly. But I can't say other slurs. Yeah. You know so I mean? like, yeah. That's so, a good way to put it. <laughs> there's a fine balance. Yeah. Like, so I get the messaging though. Yeah. You're right to an extent. Um, I also think too though, like. There's some things where, you know, calling your partner names in general when you're arguing, um, even and if you're not, is not a good thing to yeah. do. Never. Ends I feel. Well. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty common knowledge. And if you don't know that, it's because you're not in a grown up relationship or have never been in one. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> calling your partner names in general is not a good thing to do. It's not a healthy thing to do. I think the only thing I've ever said to Justin is fuck off. <laughs> and I was blacked. So that was, that was not like, that, was, that wasn't me. That was Morgan 3.0. Yeah. <laughs> it, was just, it was a prank. It was, it was a prank. <laughs> it was a TikTok trend. Justin, you didn't see that. Prank. It was I should tell him that next time. So this next one, a listener sent it to me and I don't know if it's made its way there yet, but it's, it probably is going to end up on Barstool. So oh, damn. I haven't read this one. In a good way or a bad way? Ah, I God. think it's all bad. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I haven't read it. I have no idea what I'm subjecting us Ooh, all to. Okay. All but right. the listener that sent it in was like, holy shit, you need to see this. Okay. So it goes, I'm going to end up on a Ohio State Barstool and maybe the rest of the internet. I apologize for what you are about to read and see when it comes out. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I have to get this off my chest and try and explain myself before I become known as the Ohio State tree fucker. So this morning around 630, I came back to campus. I live off High Street, but don't have class on Mondays and spent the long weekend home, deciding to wake up early and commute back today. I didn't want to fall back asleep because I have an 8 a.m., so I was hanging out on the oval, sitting on one of the trees to the right of the Thompson statue. Its branches are a little lower, and I was using it kind of as a bench to sit on at first, but then just sat down next to the tree on my backpack. There was a hole in it, and I kind of started poking my fingers in it. Some water squirted out, and I don't know what got into me, but I started really going at it. (laughs) With his fingers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think he was finger-fucking the tree. It squirted again, and I might have moaned a little bit (laughs) and went to lick it, and all of a sudden, I heard a little scream, and I turned around, and there were three girls staring at me with their phones out recording. It's the three of us. (laughs) I wish. (laughs) I wish I saw this in person. And I was there on my knees, hugging the tree with my tongue in the tree hole. I swear, I looked around and there was nobody there before I started. I don't know where the girls came from. I want to apologize and please, if you have the video, do not post it anywhere. I'm literally begging you. I'm considering going to Ohio State Student Legal to negate the fallout damage if the video does come out. Because I'm so scared. I will literally pay you to not post it. If you have the video, DM and we can work something out so my life isn't ruined. I'm speechless. I like how he <laughs> he prefaces it with like a whole story. I was at my mom's house for the whole weekend. Yeah. And I went to church. Had an I went to I went to the soup kitchen. Yes. You know, Took donated. I gave some blood. I donated plasma. Overall, I'm a really good person. Anyways, I was fingering a tree <laughs> and it was turning me on. I like how he said he I'm not. I like how he said I'm not a tree fucker, and he absolutely is. He's a true finger fucker. That's the difference. You're just finger banging an on-campus tree and you think that you deserve the right to explain yourself? You can't sue anyone for that. They should sue you for emotional (laughs) damage. (laughs) The fact that he's like, I'm not a finger fucker. Well, you are. You did it. You be the, I mean, you be the judge. I mean, I guess I would say. 
He's all before I'm known to the world as the OSU tree fucker. I would like. <laughs> I to like how he's my giving story. us. He's giving us a bird's eye view of where he was at. To the right of the statue, <laughs> the branches are a little low. He goes because that tree is mine. Yeah. Because <laughs> if anyone else touches my tree, Don't I swear to fucking, fucking God, dare. dude, that makes me sick to my stomach a little he's bit. Like, and it's squirt. Okay, I do want to know what kind of tree this was. Do trees do that? It was probably a sprinkler. Like, you know like, what I mean? Like, like, like dew or something yeah, like that. Like, yeah, like, oh, I'm thinking like a sprinkler that like, sometimes sprinklers like... <laughs> <laughs> you want me to explain? I want to explain to this man. What's the science of this the, tree the, square? The, the, the pussy juice that was coming out this <laughs> tree. I think it was like maybe a sprinkler or something. And maybe that's why like it was bubbling up. Or maybe that's why it was coming oh. out. Or maybe it was just dew, like yeah. you said. Like... But do like lays, it doesn't squirt. Like if you if you touch grass when it has dew on it, yeah. it doesn't like jump up or or squirt you out. You're like squirrels in a tree hole. You're like, what's he doing to our home? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared, you guys. <laughs> At least he didn't take his dick out. Because I could see a guy doing that. If I'm being real, I would rather it's have worse done that. to me that he was fingering it. Cause it's almost like he's 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 like having foreplay with the tree. <laughs> like he's warming it up. I'd rather it have been for him, not the tree's pleasure. I yeah. was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I had to pick who I wish had pleasure in that. Oh my God. <laughs> hit the tree. The way, the way he's like, yeah, you like that, you little tree? <laughs> like, yeah. You little slutty tree. I think we forgot the fact too, he went in like hugging the tree then with his mouth. Like he was performing oh, cunnilingus oh, on yeah. this cunnilingus tree. Cunnilingus on the tree. <laughs> On the tree to the right of the Thompson statue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, nightmare fuel. The way that that is the mo most bizarre. I, honest to God, listen, man, I, I don't want you to your life to be ruined, but I really do hope that the video comes out. I okay. I'm trying to see it. What? Um, DM it to me personally. Yeah, DM it to both of us. Yeah, like I will put us in a group DM. The I three will of pay us. you more <laughs> than he will. I will pay you. More. I'll double I'll whatever he's gonna pay. Well, fuck it, let's triple it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put our money together, Morgan. We can we can come up with a nice pool. Yeah. Sweeten the deal here. Ew. Oh, I can't. Uh, one of the comments that uh, the listener sent me was, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you do that? For, me. For, it's me who wrote it. Forget student legal. See a therapist. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, I'm going to like see a therapist for it. For help, yeah. yeah. If that isn't like... The most aggressive proof that like men will fuck anything, dude. I'm saying <laughs> the way that you said like not for the trees. <laughs> that's sure. why you do stuff that's like that. That's worse. That's so I much worse. I wish it was for his. Yeah, same. Well, he like moaned. when people like cars. Yeah, he was getting something out of this. Yeah, that's because think, but it was yeah. like he was he was imagining bringing the tree pleasure, and that's infinitely worse to me <laughs> than like you just trying to get your rocks off in a tree. Like it wasn't even that early in the morning, so everyone has eight a.m. So people are gonna yeah, see the way he's yeah. acting like it was like two in the morning. Like, I don't know why people were out here. It wasn't in broad daylight. <laughs> <laughs> After I visited my mom for the weekend, yeah. I came home. After I gave and went and read to the children. Volunteered, yeah, the, and volunteered at the, the children kitchen at the Ronald McDonald House. You know, I'm a really good person. This guy's gonna end up on a list somewhere. I'm oh, Jesus Christ, no, seriously. Uh, some other comment is a lot of guys won't even go down on their wives, and OP is out here willing to tongue fuck a tree. <laughs> <laughs> the bar has risen, ladies. <laughs> the way that, like, I just picture like him committing these <laughs> adulterous acts on this tree. This like, and then these girls going ah, like, <laughs> like that's what that's what brings. He's like, turns around. <laughs> that's what like snaps him out. Of yeah, it. is like yeah. a girl squealing because she cannot believe what she's <laughs> seeing. Like, I would have you wouldn't have heard a fucking peep out of me. I would have no let him go to town. I would have seen how far he was. I literally take been it. like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like recording. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> gasp me. Ew. Op uh, response to that one. Oh my God. And he goes, I was not tongue fucking the tree. I barely touched it. I know it sounds bad, but I don't want to blow it out of proportion. If you saw it, you probably wouldn't think it was that bad. That's why they were recording it. And you have this, <laughs> you, you have this tangible fear that the world's going to see it. You literally are going to legal services to make sure you can deal with the fallout. <laughs> You're going to pay big money for this. It seems like a big deal. You literally offered American <laughs> currency in exchange for the video. Like, I'm going to go ahead and say it's as bad as you described. The, even if I, even if you didn't factor any of your like precautions that you're taking, 
just the description alone is bad. I don't need yeah. anything else. I don't need the visual, honestly. Just reading your words is more than enough yeah. for me. I would I've, love from someone from PR to comment on this too, because I don't know if it was better to get ahead of this in this case. <laughs> I think he should yeah, have issued his statement been, after. Yeah. This might have been one where you jumped the gun a little too early. A little bit. Just I tried to bit. Google. What, they weren't even recording. They were just holding their phones. Yeah. <laughs> 911 ready. Yeah. yeah. They're on the phone and they're like, you will never believe what I'm looking at right yeah. now. Oh, oh my God, I made bro. it to your own crime. What's wrong with you? <sighs> There's no way. Okay, this next one. My boyfriend jerks off to videos slash photos of his dead wife. Ooh. I'm feeling mixed feelings. As the title suggests, I, 35 female, have been dating a widower, 52 male. We are serious, bought a house together, mesh well, and are sexually adventurous the entire thing. Like I mentioned, he is 52, and he tends to like a particular kind of porn of a certain generation. Huge fake boobs and stretchy, shiny outfits that stay on throughout the video. You get the gist. His now-deceased wife fits these criteria closely. And I know he uses their old sex tapes from time to time, and I can't help feeling oddly creeped out by it slash insecure. But I also feel like I don't have any right to be upset. Had this been an ex, I feel the porn gets deleted when the relationship does, unless someone consents to you keeping it. But this is his dead wife, whom he loved dearly and had sex and intimacy with for nearly 20 years. For context, she died 14 months ago from a rare aggressive cancer that went from diagnosis to death in five months. Her last wish was that he let someone in again as he is a strong, stoic loner. She is still the screensaver on his phone. His WhatsApp photo is still one of their old photos. I see and compliment his wedding photos that are still around the house. I am well aware and have made peace with as much as I can given the current situation. Has anyone else ever dealt with this? Do I keep my mouth shut and just file it away in the petty folder? Thanks immensely. Oh, man. That's a little... That one's, like, super layered. Yeah. I feel like if it makes you uncomfortable, you have every right to communicate that to your partner. I get trying to be empathetic, but at the same time, it's not, like... You're telling him to take down the wedding photos. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, who cares about your yeah, wife? Like, yeah. Or like, get over it. Or yeah. like, change your screensaver. Or like, whatever it is that he's using to like, Cope, grieve. Yeah. But like, that's not what's going on. He's jerking off to him having sex with somebody else, which is his obviously deceased wife. Mm. That's weird. I feel like he's not moved on yet. So like, if anything, I'd just remove myself from the situation. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I wouldn't even really like, I wouldn't get mad about it. I just would be like, clearly you're not in a space to move on. Yeah. And that's okay. That's fair. I'm going to move on though. Because that's weird. Yeah. Well, and it's like, she only died 14 months ago. And so yeah. the whole timeline of this, like the fact they're dating and already bought a house together. I thought the same yeah. thing. Yeah. It's moving too fast. It's Yeah. He's clearly. trying to put a bandaid on it. And he's yeah. clearly not like grieving yeah and he's not in a space to move forward no mm -hmm. and also like how often is he jerking off that you know this like yeah. do you watch him do it like does he tell you he does it yeah, have you caught it yeah, yeah have you caught him doing it secretly does he just do it openly like i know she said the sexually adventurous part so i don't know if that's like <laughs> like <laughs> that's a, the adventurous part i don't of know yeah. like, i don't know if that's an indicator of like they're like watching a, it together yeah like i don't know if that if he wants her there clearly not because she said he's jerking off so like yeah. he's doing it alone mm -hmm. but like you clearly know he's doing it because he's doing it often mm -hmm. so like you don't need me here if you have that you don't I think need we're good yeah, yeah i think i don't need to be here mm -hmm. it's like fair that's for weird. you to be um like weirded out by it but it's also unfair of him to expect you to just sit there and watch him do that for like however long mm -hmm. yeah well and i like we've had so many stories come up on the show where partners are like competing with a ghost especially yeah. like when you have An a widower or whatever. Yeah. yeah and so it's like this is i just i don't know if i would be comfortable with it i mm -hmm. think putting myself in their shoes it's like well, how long does this go on? Yeah. And like when you're having sex with me, are you are envisioning you about? her? Especially yeah. because she described how the girls he likes watching porn look like his ex and she doesn't. Yeah. yeah. Look like that. I'm like, mm. that right there is like, he has a very specific type 
when he watches porn. Mm -hmm. And if you don't fit in that category, you don't find that weird. Like, you know what I mean? And also she, the way she described it too, she said they just mesh well. So you just get along. Like, yeah, where you sound like companions, like, like you guys are like, really you get along yeah like you're just like you're cool with each other she wasn't like i'm madly in love with him Mm -hmm. like he's everything to me this breaks my heart she's just like it makes me uncomfortable and it's weird yeah i think you're not even as invested as you think you are either yeah that is so yeah that's a good that would be hard to be too especially if like that's his screensaver yeah i think it's i think it's more so more than anything i think it's a guilt thing because you feel creeped out by it yeah Mm -hmm. and you're like i know he's grieving and that makes me feel like a bad person Mm -hmm. if i'm like that's gross right and the jerking off part isn't gross it's the i wouldn't even describe it as gross i think it's just weird it's it's yeah comfortable situation to be put in absolutely so don't subject yourself to it if you don't have to yeah no and i think the screensavers is also a really telltale sign like i think to be honest, I think he's dating this new person solely because that's what his wife wanted for him. Yeah, yeah he doesn't it, even want to. He no. just wants his wife. He's like yeah. trying to force himself to yeah. move on. That's exactly the vibe I'm getting. And that's unhealthy for him and her mm-hmm. because now she's like, okay, well now I'm like kind of stuck because they bought a house together and stuff. Mm-hmm. But what? Why? 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 I don't know. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's older too. Like, he's significantly older than her. She's in her 30s. Like, girl, you're in your prime. Like, yeah. Cut it loose, go find somebody else. Seriously. You know, like you said, you can't compete with a ghost. Like you no. really can't. No, and I've I've seen so many people that are widowers and only will date a widower so that like that mm-hmm. person understands uh, that. That makes sense. I guess that see makes that. sense. Yeah. yeah. And so I think, I think it's think... also too one of those things where when you're like you feel like you're competing with a ghost, like you um almost like like I said, like you're making yourself feel bad. All the time, like you feel guilty all Mm -hmm. the time because you're like, I don't like that. That makes me uncomfortable. And as like an equal partner in the relationship, you should be able to communicate those feelings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then you can't because you feel bad. So then you start growing resentment towards them and what they're going through, Mm -hmm. which then makes you feel bad. It's just like a cycle. There's no getting ahead with this one. Nah, I'd cut him. I cut him loose, babe. I would He's too. Not ready. So the top comment at the time that I screenshotted this was, "She's dead 14 months, and you've already, you're already at the stage where you bought a house together. How long have you been dating? It seems like he rushed into dating to try to fill the void with you without mm-hmm. any processing mm-hmm. or working through his grief." Yeah, absolutely. And that's also an indicator too that like he's it's like banded on a bullet hole like you said Mm -hmm. but then it's also like i mean why would you want to enter in a relationship with someone who literally said that he loved someone for 20 years and that was the love of his life you know what i mean like why would you want to so so quickly enter into a relationship with someone who's like still grieving from Mm -hmm. that no I 20 years you know what i mean that's a long ass time what's that um isn't there like a thing where the time to grieve your relationship is like how long it was divided by four or like something like that. I saw it was like times two. So like if you were together with someone like, or half of the amount, I'm sorry. Yeah, half. So if you were together with someone like me for eight years, (laughs) then it would take me four years to get over it. And I'm all, no. Do you think you're on that timeline? (laughs) I don't want it to be four years. I'm like on my way out. Yeah, No, she's for sure way ahead of the curve in that sense. I think they're saying like, Give yourself at least that much time, like yeah. or or maximum or minimum that much time. Yeah. But if you get fa- over it faster, or it takes you a little bit longer, yeah, that's fine. But they said like I think it just gives people like a goal mm-hmm. because I feel like when you're going through grief like that, like you, the, it feels like there's no end. Yeah, like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. You're never gonna see it. You're never gonna come out the other side. And then when you have people who give you tangible goals to work towards, you're like, oh, just give yourself. Couple four years. years yeah yeah then you're like okay four years four years that's what you tell yeah. yourself it like motivates you well and breakups are different from like losing like that exactly it's, it's a different form of grief but it's yeah. like not the same yeah. yeah it's a much i think it's like a, another level yeah of, of bereavement more than anything oh yeah i we've had a couple lost stories too and people are always like you don't ever get over grief like that like you learn to grow with it and like around it there's actually yeah, like an image little meme, yeah. yeah and so that comes up a lot when we have stories like this I I, and i think too like this is if i think they should break up if they haven't already but if they haven't i think you should because this is like a learning lesson for you too mm-hmm. you know what i mean and then it's okay if you feel creeped out by it that's okay yeah. it's a valid it's a valid feeling <laughs> you're allowed to feel that way but you don't have to tell him that you yeah. know what i mean no especially <laughs> you if can, it's 
the one thing that's like bringing him peace right now. Yeah, yeah. like you can be empathetic towards it and just be like, listen, I think that we're on two different paths. So yeah. you continue on your healing journey. I'm gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> see if you, see if you can sell the house. Yeah, yeah. literally. Oh. Or he buy me out on my half. I don't want yeah. him anymore. You can yeah. have it. <laughs> yeah, he's probably he's probably established. That's why I was. He's older, so yeah, he's it's it's okay. He's got it. Mm -hmm. He can he can keep the house. Mm -hmm. Up next, am I the asshole for canceling dinner and going home over something my boyfriend's dog did? Uh -oh. Hi. I'll preface this by saying that I, 25 female, have been seeing Michael, 31 male, for a while now. He's a really funny, a bit too sarcastic though, guy, and we pretty much get along well. We've been dating for four months. Michael likes the food I cook, and he wanted me to come to his house and cook him dinner, and also meet his dog for the first time. I only saw him in pictures slash videos. He's overprotective of him. I grabbed all I needed from the store and went over to his house. All went well. I met his dog, then we sat down to talk. Suddenly, his dog started moving in a funny way. Michael was laughing while looking at me. I felt confused. I asked him what the dog was doing, and Michael said that the dog was telling him about me. I was like, um, okay? And then he flat out said that the dog thought I was ugly. This shocked me completely. I looked at Michael and asked if he was serious. He started explaining that this dog is like that with some people and that I shouldn't get offended over an animal's behavior. I felt horrible because I, as a person who has always struggled with self-esteem and am no stranger to the word ugly, my issue wasn't the dog, but with what Michael said. It's like he was indirectly giving his opinion about my looks and using his dog as an excuse. Long story short, we had an argument, and I ended up canceling dinner and going home. Michael called several times. Then, when I picked up, he was lashing out the entire time, saying that I overreacted and that I cannot blame him and punish him for something his dog did. He advised me to get rid of the, quote, toxic sensitivity I have and deal with whatever insecurity I have as soon as possible, because what happened will set the tone for our relationship and eventually our marriage later. I did respond later, which caused another argument. My sister said I messed things up with my stupidity and that I should have laughed it off. But for some reason, I wasn't able to. Did I overreact here? No. Fucking run, dude. The way that he was gaslighting the shit out of her, like... Yeah, what the fuck is toxic sensitivity? Yeah, like, he's like, you better deal... <laughs> That's a new one. Deal with, that that. deal with that insecurity, bitch. I know I called you ugly to your face, but, like, deal with it. Deal with it, or else it's gonna affect our relationship. Bro, get the fuck out of here, dude. And she's over there making dinner. You know what? So you know I would have sauced his rug. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is dogs have no thoughts. No. Dogs, dogs don't, dogs don't think that person is ugly. Like dogs don't do that. Yeah, dogs hump everyone. Dogs, yeah. think, dogs think like ball, food, safety. Like that's what dogs think about. Dogs don't aren't like that person is the ugliest bitch I've ever seen in my life. It's, it's different <laughs> if he was like joking because I've said that to my sister. Like, oh my cats don't like you, or told my brother they don't like you because they think you're ugly. Yeah, but it seems like he was being serious. That would fucking piss me off. Yeah. Well, you're like you have to think too. The relationship dynamic between you and your brother yeah. is different between like people who are dating and <laughs> sure. and like are new newly to a relationship dating, yeah. with each other. Like yeah. I swear to God, if Billy ever jokingly called me ugly, done. You know what I mean? When we were first dating, yeah, first four, four months, months yeah. four months That's in, rough fuck right there, that too. dude. He's like, oh, ha ha. Sounds like you want to fuck your dog. Like, why are you so like? Oh, he does that sometimes. Ugly bitches, am I right? What it sounds like is he was trying to neg you. That yeah. That's is what, what I picked like. up on. Yeah, it sounds like he was trying to neg you and it didn't work. And then he was like, then he gaslights you yeah. after that. He's like, then it's well, your fault. Yeah, yeah, you're so insecure. Like, why are you so insecure? Because my dog thinks you're a fucking ugly bitch. <laughs> like, that's what it sounds <laughs> like. And he's still doubling down. Yeah. In the like the second phone call with her, he's like, why are you blaming me for something my dog did? I can't control my he goes, dog. Here he is. You take it up with him. It's on FaceTime and it's just yeah. a dog. And he goes, see, <laughs> he's still doing and it. And the dog's licking, <laughs> he's licking his pee pee yeah. and he's like, see? He still thinks you're ugly. That's on him. Why are you mad at me? Dude, I'm sure that dog had a red rocket when she was there. Like, yeah. Dog, like they all do. They yeah. all do. Like any dog that sits and starts staring at you, that thing comes out. Yeah. A dog has no 
like little to no brain cells. Like literally. dogs lay there and s- dogs literally look at themselves in the mirror for 20 minutes. Like, <laughs> what do you think that, do you genuinely think that dog has the cognitive ability to be like, this person is ugly? Yeah. No, no, no chance. You're making that up because it was probably supposed to be a joke, but it's like a negging joke. Yeah. And I like, don't get why guys do that. In your 30s? Like, this is why he's still single at 31 yeah, or whatever in your, age. In your fucking 30s, like you're you're still trying to nag girls that like came to your house and like you guys have dinner plans and yeah, all and that shit. Yeah, and your sister sounds like a fucking pick me. Pick me ass yeah. bitch. Yeah. yeah. You're being stupid. No, you're stupid and that's why you're single. That would be me. I'm sorry. You no. reacted. Yeah. You know what's you funny? You just sucked it up. If that was me and you and you were the girl that got like he said you were ugly or why do you dog. think because that would happen to me that's what you're saying though. no you would come home and <laughs> no what I think would have happened is you wouldn't have liked it but you would have like stomached the dinner sure. and then you would have came home and you would have told me isn't that weird because people will say the most bizarre things to me yeah you had some especially weird on dates, dates and then Dude. I go oh my god I'll be like I don't know she said this thing to me and then you're like that's so rude and I go oh yeah and I go what the fuck she said that to you and she goes yeah I'm like fuck that bitch dude <laughs> like what a mean thing to say like oh, that's so disrespectful yeah. that, that was the one girl it. that catfished you yeah, yeah and I told well and I told her when she told me that story because she was like do you want to talk about what she said? I told her we were playing that card game. I just meant on the. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't care. Yeah. Tell the people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she had said, I like how in your Bumble profile, like, usually people try to make like it with like good looking pictures or pictures that will attract other people. But yours was just you being yourself. And I love Negging. That. That's <laughs> fucking negging. And then it I go, is. I yeah. said, she said that to your fucking face. I was like, is, was that like weird? Because I like didn't know how to react. Yeah, when she, she told said me, she it. goes, yeah. And then she said this, and I'm all, to you? <laughs> And she goes, yeah, I go, like, on the day? She goes, yeah, I go, what'd you say? <laughs> I would have goes, She goes, I literally was just like, oh. <laughs> like, that's it. And that's well, like, meanwhile, that's, <laughs> she fucking showed up and catfished you. Yeah. Well, and then I told, I told her, too. I was like, you should have been like, what do you mean by that? What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean? Yeah. I was just Explain like it to in me. such shock. I guess, yeah, the same thing. He's like, yeah, he thinks you're ugly. That would have made me laugh. I would have been like, I don't know. He told me he thinks you're ugly before I came in here. Like, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. I saw you fucking a tree earlier. You want to talk about me being ugly? I bet you it's the same dude. I know. I bet you anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> so the top comment on this one, which at the time of the screenshot had over 20,000 upvotes. Mm. So wait a minute. He's continuing to blame his dog for insulting you and is sticking to a story that his dog, not him, thinks you're ugly? <laughs> this guy is just yikes. I personally wouldn't marry someone who communicates by translating his dog's mean spirited <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> is it an animal medium? Yes, like maybe yeah, his, yeah, his, his just, dog's a bully. He thinks you're ugly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen. Dude, I keep like, getting those animal mediums on TikTok though. Oh, oh yeah. I haven't seen those. Oh, I've crazy. seen like one or what two. They, they just read dogs' minds. They talk to your pets. Yeah, they oh. they like communicate to you what your dog is thinking by talking to them or in their heads no they like kind of like spirits a little yeah, bit you know like, like this is the energy giving me yeah. Yeah. yeah they're like the presence is telling me no this. my cats now i'm all hey and then look at me all, yeah that's what i thought my Squid's dog almost there because he's yeah. a baby yeah yeah, yeah my dog's a baby, baby. Mm-hmm. he my dog i'm the fun parent and it's upsetting to me like billy's the <laughs> the calm parent like billy like when billy's there he like goes and lays down and sleeps with me, like he comes and he stares at me like, and then I go, don't. And then he, he nips at me and then he takes off, gets zoomies. Yeah. Oh, as soon okay. as I, as soon as I tell him, get out of here, he starts getting zoomies really yeah. bad. Yo, and when she first got him, I would chase him. And now yeah. every time he comes over, he tries to goad me into chasing him. I literally him. told Adam this morning, I was like, Dason's like the fun aunt. Cause like when he sees Dason, he gets excited cause he knows he's gonna be chased and he likes to be chased yeah. so oh he runs God. up and he's like he, and he like, waits he like hits my foot and then yeah. runs away I'm all you're scary now he scares me I'm all, I don't wanna play with you you're scary <laughs> he's just a little guy I know he's a little asshole he just has that crazy look in his eye just I don't trust him I wanna babysit he's, he's oh my god I would love you too he's such a good boy he's actually a really really good mm-hmm. puppy but like he's just in his naughty phase right yeah. now is he six months no, he's going on four. Okay. So. To- he's a toddler. Yeah. He's yeah, just- a toddler. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. He's in his happening. toddler phase. Like he's entering where he's like testing the limits yeah. and the boundaries. So he's getting like a little personality too. Which yeah. Is really cute. Oh, I love that. I have like the biggest puppy fever. And oddly, I kind of want to become a dog trainer in my spare time. I love training dogs. I just think it oh. would be so fun. <laughs> I am fascinated. Anytime someone brings up dog training, I'm like, you know what I read? Like, I literally like, 
it's like a it's like a fucking trigger word for me yeah. like it makes me excited mm-hmm. are Be- you on dog trainer tiktok yes i see them all the time i'm fascinated sometimes i'll tell i'll tell billy i'm like listen this is what we have to do i saw a video about it today and i watch dog training videos all the time i'm obsessed i literally taught my boyfriend's mom um she has three dogs i taught one of them to stop jumping on people when you come in the house. Yeah, do you just walk into them? Y- you, you just ignore them. Yeah. Because I watched a TikTok on it and the guy was like, ignore them until they calm down and once they sit down, then, then you, you acknowledge them. Yeah. So now what he does is he goes, he doesn't jump, but he goes and brings you toys. Like he'll bring you his favorite toy Aww. and like put it at your feet and then he'll wait for pets. A story? Yeah. And I taught him that. You're good. Hire me. She's really good. She's really good. You're good. <laughs> um. Well, I gotta, I gotta... A vet clinic one, kind of a dog one while we're Mm. here. Today I fucked up by thinking that the emergency vet clinic gives out goodie bags and excitedly asking about it. (laughs) So today we ended up bringing our cat into the emergency vet clinic. He's fine now. After he was all fixed up and I had paid, I was waiting for the vet tech to bring him out so I could take him home. While I was waiting, I noticed a couple who had also just paid waiting and assumed they too were waiting for their animal to come out. Before my cat was brought out, a different vet tech came out to the couple waiting, carrying a fancy paper bag. My dumbass should have realized then and there, but alas, this is where I fucked up. Instead of realizing that the bag carried the ashes of their dead pet, I excitedly asked from across the waiting room in a bright and sunny voice, Ooh, do we get goodie bags? (laughs) I realized what was in the bag as the words were coming out, but not soon enough to actually stop saying them. (laughs) The vet tech handing the bag froze mid pass off. The woman receiving the bag, who was heavily pregnant, burst into tears immediately, and everyone else just looked deeply uncomfortable. (laughs) (laughs) I started apologizing immediately and tried to explain, but it was too late. The room was dead silent except for the sobs of the pregnant lady. It was at this moment, of course, that the vet tech that had been working with our cat brings him out, cheerily proclaiming him happy and healthy and ready to go home. (laughs) The couple with the goodie bag left in a hurry without looking up at me again. I have never been so fucking mortified in my life. I feel so bad that it made their already horrible day worse. Ugh. Oh my god, dude, that's so funny. Ooh. Yeah, that ooh, do we get goodies? <laughs> Trick or treat. What if she's like, that? how come she gets a goodie bag and I don't? <laughs> Yo, I saw cr- you give that pregnant lady a, a goodie bag. <laughs> how come I don't get one? What if I if that dude that's so embarrassing. I could if see that, this happening to me. Yeah. If that were, I would probably ask. I don't know if I'd go, ooh, but I'd, I'd probably be like, hey, what did they get in that bag? Yeah. And then I would still feel like an asshole, but. At least not in front of a bunch of people. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. if that were me, I'd be like, do you guys mind cremating me next? Because I don't think I want to live to see it tomorrow. <laughs> like after that interaction. Can I, I go think back I, there really fast? Do you guys have like an opening? If I could just stick my head in that furnace, that'd be great. Oh my, oh my god, god dude. it's giving that audio it's like someone said date me yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're like a gun <laughs> a gun yeah uh, that's so yeah that's one of those things where you just like want to run into the woods and never come back out yeah oh I, my god i don't have like i'm trying to think of a moment where uh, there's been like one recently i talked about it where i met molly burke at a tiktok party oh yeah and i had said like differently abled on a past episode which is not an appropriate term. It's just something that like came up during my OT grad school. Okay. And um, she was talking because she was coming on an episode and she was like, yeah, someone on your podcast said differently abled and like, that's really bad. And I was like, oh, fuck me. That was me. <laughs> fuck. Were fuck. you like, oh my God, yeah. No, I- what a bitch. <laughs> What's for dinner, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably Tony uh, Pizza. Yeah. It wasn't me. And that was someone named Tony Pizza. I really am not I friends. actually got rid of him. He's gone. Yeah, that bitch was... hasn't been back since. Yeah. <laughs> He asked me what's oh. for dinner, bitch. And my dog thought he was ugly, so you know it was a lose lose. There's a lot around. going on, dude. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm like, I was trying to think of any other meltable moments, and like, I don't, yeah. I don't have any. I of like embarrassing things. Yeah, I mean, for me, I don't know. Not nothing like that. Like as, as far as I remember, sometimes I block things out from my psyche. I think intentionally because yeah. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> but uh, no, I don't think so. No, not for me. I can think of one for my dad with the eggs at the restaurant. 
That's my mom's favorite story. What? Dude. He was like, we, uh, it was like during the pandemic. So we had gone on like a road trip to Oregon and we were like all wearing masks and not seeing people. And yeah. so we went to a restaurant to eat outside and my dad, we were ordering breakfast and the lady's like, how do you want your eggs? And he was like, oh, omelette. And she was like, hmm? <laughs> and he went, strike one. Omelette. And me and my mom were both staring and going, what the fuck? And she's all, hmm. And he goes, I'll make this easy for you. Easy over. And she went, oh, well, he means scrambled. I was so embarrassed. What are you had talking the, about? Had to interject And then as soon as she left, I'm all, did you say easy over? He goes, oh, I meant over easy. I'm all, okay, that's one. What the hell is omelets? And he goes, an omelet. He kept saying an omelet. I'm all, no. Oh, my God. Do you know what an omelet is? I'm all, why are you saying it like that? That guy's wild. <laughs> Dude, as a server, that should happen to me all the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's the other one? Like a euro? And people are like, can I get a gyro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The vaginas. I love TikToks of waitresses <laughs> when they're like, do you guys sell coffee here? And it's like a coffee shop. She goes, no, you stupid bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I watched one like that, Those too. Those are so when funny. And then like a little, a little diner. Yeah. Where she's like, like, do you mind turning the air off? It's freezing. She goes, actually, it's a million fucking degrees outside. So, so no. And I'm serving 12 tables. So no. <laughs> can I leave it off? it. <laughs> I... <laughs> God. I don't think I have anything like that, like talking wise. Mm -mm. I'm trying to think. No, you got your shit together. Yeah. You seem like you like really, you always have your shit together. I think more it's than like Virgo and I, Yeah, that, but also I think I'm just quick on my feet. So like if something embarrassing happens to me, I lie almost immediately because yeah. to like cover my tracks mm -hmm. a little bit <laughs> because I'm embarrassed. So yeah. it's like I'm quick thinking in that sense because like the thought of that stuff makes me want to lay in the middle of a train track. I'm trying to think. I've had embarrassing things happen to me, but they weren't like... Oh, I got hit by a car while I was riding a bike. That was really embarrassing. That's true. And then I got up <laughs> and picked up my bike and tried you to walk away. You say that so casually. Yeah. you just told her on her podcast, but yeah. on the show, but... Yeah, I was, I was literally home. laughing so hard I started crying when I was telling the story. Wait, I think I did see the, the TikTok breakdown yeah. on your Instagram. And it bent the wheel back. So like when I, and it's like a freaking 10 year old beach cruiser. <laughs> so when I would bike, I couldn't turn the wheel if like this foot was forward because it would get caught in the yeah. wheel. And so one time I was like running late for work. I still had that sh like fucked up bike. <laughs> and I had uh, eggs and hot dogs, which was, used to be my favorite meal before I was vegan, in one hand, like in a <laughs> Winnie's con huevos. Yeah, okay. a classic. A classic. And so I had it in one hand because I was late for work and I was getting on my bike and I tried to bike and I tripped and fell. <laughs> but I caught the, I didn't spill my food. And a homeless man saw me. He's like, are you okay? And I was like, yes, I'm fine. And I was so embarrassed. <laughs> She's like, I, I wanted to get up and throw my bike over the <laughs> fence because I was so embarrassed. <laughs> oh. Oh my god! Yeah, I don't know. I think getting hit by a car was more embarrassing. But well, the fact you apologized to the person that hit you. Yeah, I was like, sorry about that, and like I had like <laughs> blood coming. Out. I was like, see you later, and we're trying to leave. It's so embarrassing. You're supposed to get their info so they can pay for your injuries. I know. Well, and so because I was on a one way street, so I was on the sidewalk because I didn't want to go in the bike lane because it's going against traffic. Like I'm yeah, biking against yeah. traffic. And I don't know how to ride my bike because it's a 19-year-old beach cruiser. And this guy pulled out of a driveway, like, and I saw it, like, right before it hit me. So I slammed, like, on my brakes and then ran into the side of the car and lifted up, smashed the windshield with my arm and fell on he the ground. He literally hit her while she was driving. And then I got oh up because he didn't God. get out of the car. And my ex was actually walking towards me on the sidewalk. And, like, saw it all. Yeah. And I didn't see her because I was watching the driveways. And so if Dude. she didn't scream and yell, he wouldn't have gotten out of the car. And then I went, it was worse because then I walked to the hospital because it was a block away. And I told him, like, yeah, I got hit by a car. They're like, where am I? Like, right over there. I don't know. Can you <laughs> They're like, yeah, we saw it was so embarrassing. <laughs> Are you the girl that got hit by a car? <laughs> oh, my God. We were all wondering if you were going to come in I know. Here. And I told the guy, oh, I should have glass in my arm. And he was like, let me see. And he just wiped it off. And I'm all, what is that? $1,000? Could have did that at home. <laughs> I didn't know if I had any broken. It was fine. But oh yeah, I think getting by a car. It's so embarrassing because, like, what do you do? I didn't have a helmet on. I'm so lucky I didn't hit my head. Yeah. But I just got up and I was like. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the humiliation was overtaking her. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm i trying to think. I don't have anything like that. I was an Amber Alert once. Really? Yeah. I hit my head off a horse and went in a car and like passed out and like buried myself in clothes that were in the backseat of the car. <laughs> Like, I don't know. I just, like, needed to sleep. And um, they thought I got kidnapped. So they they made me an Amber Alert. And they, like, shut they down. They couldn't find you? They shut down. It was at a horse show. So they shut down the whole show, the whole fairgrounds. Like, stopping cars and, like, 
Amber Alert Mogan. Mean, oh meanwhile, gosh. you're just sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> KO'd. I don't remember anything from that day except like getting in my dad. He had this like old two door gold Lexus. And I just remember sitting up in the front seat and just puking all over uh, the floor. That's concussed. all I remember. So concussed. concussed. Yeah. So bad. I was, uh, when I was in, I want to say fifth grade, I was, I played the flute. Eh, whirlwind <laughs> woodwind I said whirlwind also woodwinds um but I made honor band so Ooh. like when you make honor band you do like your final concert and then our teacher would like announce like who was like making honor band so before the concert you had to wear black bottoms white button down yeah. tops okay my mom had these black velvet uh dance pants yeah like f- super flared I was like those are eaten I'm wearing them <laughs> So I put them on and they're way too big on me because I was like 10. Yeah. And my mom goes, those pants are too big. Like you shouldn't wear those. And I was like, you don't know anything. I got it. Yeah. And she goes, well, at least roll them, you know? And then I was like, I don't, if I roll them, they bunch and then you're going to see the bunch and that's going to kill the fit. Like mom, come on. So I was wearing those. I remember this so vividly because it's a core memory in the worst way. But like I was wearing the velvet pants, the bun down Pumas, right? Yeah. I go oh, real go to 90s honor band. kid. Yeah. yeah, go to go to honor band, kill it. And then he's like, I'm gonna start announcing honor band. And then my last name is at the very front. So obviously I was like, I was the first one he called. And I was like, mm, period. So I walk, my seat was at the very like almost at the back of the orchestra. Okay. So I start walking all the way up, right? I'm walking all the way up to the very front of the stage. There's tons of people there. Like there's at parents, least 200 people there. Yeah. yeah. Oh the my whole God. like little multi-purpose room yeah. okay okay i go to the very front he gives me my medal like he puts it on my neck and then we take a little pick and then i turn around to go back to my seat as i turn around my whole shoe gets stuck in the pant leg no so i step down on my shoe no. i pull my pants down <laughs> and then i fall i had no time to like oh. Because it was so like sudden, I had no time to like block my fall. Oh. I smacked my forehead <laughs> on the stage. Like literally, I went from my feet to my face. My chonies out, right? <laughs> chonies out. My my shirt up. Yeah. Of course, so I, my not even my shirt could cover my chonies. My Hanes underwear. <laughs> and I'm I'm literally laying there, and I remember laying there face down. <laughs> And because there's floor, there's floor mics because it's orchestra. So it was, it, was it sounded like thunder. Sound, yeah. It sounded like Thor landed outside, like, <laughs> right? And it ripples because of the room. Dude, everyone goes, oh, like that. Like I'm fucking movie. This sounds like I made it up. And my chonies are on my, literally just low enough around my butt, like around my cheeks, bro. And then I'm all, oh my God. Like in my head, I was like, this is not real like in my head I started lying to myself so then I pull my pants back up like like I literally face down I like literally pulled them up so at least my ass was covered while you're still on the ground yeah Yeah. face down I literally just pulled them up really fast got on my hands and knees crawled back to my seat I didn't even stand up like I crawled back I think I thought like if I crawled and it was like while he was announcing so he's like Gerald following he's like Morgan (laughs) And then he's like, Joe, are you okay? I didn't answer. Crawled all the way back to on my hands and knees, crawled all the way back to my seat. And I remember my 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 the next chair, his name was Billy. How ironic. And now well, his, they're together. Well, I'm just kidding, it's not the same. <laughs> his same name, Billy? No, no. no. Oh, his real God. name, his real name was William. Yeah. But I little white kid with little nerdy white kid with glasses. I sat up, got on my chair, he goes, he's looking at me like this. And then he goes, are you okay? Because we were friends. I go, yeah, why wouldn't I be? Me me immediately gaslighting. Immediately, I'm why, like, what, what do you mean? Did something happen? Did something of note happen recently? <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, I'm totally fine. I was sweating so bad. I like started sweating through my shirt a little yeah. bit because I was oh, so humiliated. And they just went on with the concert. When like, she tripped and fell, my mom went... That's yeah. what she gets. That's what she gets. And then we go outside. I go see my family. Mom goes, I told you those pants are too big. <laughs> I told you. Immediately humbles you. Immediately. The immediately. way my mom was like, okay. Like she let me, she let me do me. Sometimes. Unf- unfortunately yeah. for me. Sometimes it's kind of Me going, learn. I don't have anything embarrassing. That's like one of my most embarrassing moments for yeah, sure. I forgot about that. I remember. That was amazing. I remember the, the, what the room looked like. Yeah. I remember what it smelled like. That's how tra- traumatizing it, it was, was for me. That's how I felt with the bike. I'm all, man, it was <laughs> sunny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Tuesday. I was like, it was like dusk. Yeah. Right. I remember my Pumas were blue. They didn't oh even match gosh. my outfit. 
I remember those Pumas. Those the Pumas and um the Etnies. Yeah, yeah. Those, I had a pair of those too. I had, yeah, oh, and white ones. Those love that. Yeah. And K Swiss. K Swiss is making oh, a comeback. Yeah. Too. yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. I yeah. remember <laughs> recently we went to Disneyland. I told Billy when I had my Heelys, I was like insufferable. Yeah. I so was like, like oh, I was, I was crazy. healing my whole personality. I was yeah. everywhere healing. Oh, these everywhere. <laughs> and so I wore them to Disneyland and I remember my mom telling me like, hey, you probably shouldn't use those. <laughs> Once again, me not listening. <laughs> and I go, nah, it's, it's fine. fine. The so girls want to see me. Me, me like constantly trying to pull focus. Yeah. Like I'm just like doing circles in front of the people entrance. are meeting goofy and you're like, yeah. hey, that's pretty cool. Um, Have well, you seen check this? this? Can he do this? I didn't think so. <laughs> and then I'm doing all that shit. And then uh, I get in trouble. So then mm. the guy, uh, they pulled me to the side and he was like, they took um, your I'm going to need to confiscate your wheels. So I gave Damn. it to him, but he didn't know I had a backup pair. <gasps> so then I put another pair in and I'm walking, you know, you walk like they're high heels yeah. when you have the wheels <laughs> in. Like on like, tippy toes. Yeah. I was like trying to be Clicking, chill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I started healing again. And then they literally told me they were going to put me in Disneyland jail if I didn't stop. <laughs> so he confiscated my wheels again. And then he goes, do you have any other wheels on Same you? Same guy? Yeah. Wow. He was following me. I think he knew I was full of shit. Bro, so he here was you like, go. <laughs> and then I walk in, it's like, because they're so heavy. <laughs> oh, they're more clunky. They're, <laughs> they're clunky. High heels. <laughs> you know what's crazy about all this is you know somebody has a video of that uh, concert. <laughs> Somewhere. How if you do, it yet? If you do, I'll pay you money to post it, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like because it was so long ago, like 10 or... People I aren't was, drawing the connection not yet. Not even 10, more than 10. High school was 10 years ago. That's right. Well, I'm 27 now, but I was, uh, yeah, 17 years yeah, ago. So like... Ago. Holy shit, we're 17, old. yeah, no shit. 17 years ago, how... When is that, like 2000... You were in eighth grade? No, no I was in fifth grade. Fourth or fifth, yeah. What year did you graduate high school? 2013. Then it was 2006. Yeah. So... I don't know if like people had camera phones like that back oh, then. Oh, you know, there's some dad. <laughs> I hope there's like camcorder yeah. footage of it though. Like if there, oh, if there is, please send I'm it sure to me. I'm sure we have some. I, I don't know. I don't think so. We'll look, it, yeah. It'll surface. I now hope that, so. Now that you're manifesting it, you're putting yeah, it out it's there. Gonna come out. Please do. We'll honestly. make a we'll make a TikTok of this and be like, <laughs> is, does anyone have the footage? <laughs> Please send it to Drew and, yeah. and me. Me of my me first. my fucking pantaloons out of my <laughs> out of my velveteen pants, dude. If there was someone that went to school with you in eighth grade, has the video, and they happen to be listening to this podcast, <laughs> that'd be sick. Yeah, I, I please let me know. Be done. I, I do. I have. I do have some Facebook friends. I think from like fifth grade. So maybe they, <laughs> you put out a mass post message. It. Yeah, post does it on, your, on your wall. Does anyone remember this? I kind of wanted everyone to forget, but does anybody remember <laughs> this? <laughs> happened to? <laughs> Does do you guys remember that really remember embarrassing? That girl? Yeah. So her pants fell down? Yeah, when I watched the Lizzie McGuire movie, I was like, I feel seen, yeah, represented. I remember when that. she ate shit. At least her chonies weren't out, though. That's like my, my fear. Every time I go like on a something to talk, like I did that Spotify thing recently. Mm -hmm. And oh, they yeah. like they had the little chairs on the little stage, and I had to like go sideways to get to my chair. And I was like, I'm gonna fall off this fucking stage. Yeah. Watch. Oh yeah, it was a skinny one, huh? Oh my baby god. Stage. <laughs> baby stage. <laughs> Yeah, we've we've got some solid core memories, which is actually what someone said on that dog post. They literally said, "Congratulations on your new core memory." <laughs> <laughs> Against your will, core yeah. memory. Yeah. yeah. Literally. <laughs> okay, your bread and butter. Are you ready? Ready. Trigger warning on this next one, you guys. It does contain talks of child loss and eating disorders. I accidentally made a comment about my girlfriend's weight and I don't know how to fix it. Ooh, yo, 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 yo. I'm not sure how to start this out. So here's the backstory. My male 21 girlfriend, female 19, and I have been together for two years. When we started dating, she was a gym rat. We constantly worked out together to keep ourselves in good shape. My girlfriend also had a son when she was 15 from another guy who never bothered to be around for her or the baby. She had to lose a lot for her baby. She was kicked out and worked two part-time jobs on top of school to pay for herself and the baby. However, he was diagnosed with leukemia a few months into the relationship and passed away five months ago after chemo failed. This hit my girlfriend hard. She got in contact with her parents who offered for her to move back in and not work so that she could deal with her grief. Instead, she moved in with me, and I currently support her financially. Since his passing, she's gained over 65 pounds and is no longer in the shape that she was when we first started dating. She has gotten back to normal in some aspects, such as being able to enjoy doing things and has been more sexual again. 
Well, recently, I went to a party and ended up cheating on her. Oh my God. It was nothing past sexual, and it was just because of how much her body reminded me of my old girlfriend. Turned out, a few of her friends were at the party and ended up taking pictures of us making out and then leaving together. So when I came home the next morning, my girlfriend was obviously pissed. She was yelling and crying to me about how she trusted me and how she couldn't handle this after losing her baby. I didn't really think much of it. She's been erratic in her emotions since the loss, so I was letting her take her time to process it. She just wouldn't stop, though. It was over a half hour before I snapped back and said, quote, if you didn't get so big, then I wouldn't have to. I immediately apologized and tried to explain that I didn't mean it that way. She didn't listen and locked herself in the bedroom for the rest of the day. She wouldn't even let me in when it was time for bed, so I slept on the couch. The next day, we talked it out and we decided to try to deal with this going forward. However, she hasn't been the same. She refuses to have sex with me, and the one time that we did, she made the lights be off and didn't let me touch her. She hasn't been cooking meals and has only been getting food for me. She has canceled all dinner plans that I've made with our friends or told me to go alone. She hasn't been wearing the bright outfits that she usually wears and only wears black sweatpants with a sweatshirt. She doesn't let me cuddle her anymore, and she keeps a pillow in between us as she needs it to, quote, align her back at night even though she faces the other way. We used to shower every morning together, and she hasn't done that either. She's been showering when I'm at work or locks both the bedroom and bathroom door. She barely talks to me or even looks at me. I've tried holding her hand, and she pulled it away. Everything that I try to do with her, she just ignores me. I'm just so done with her acting so distant and cold to me. I want to be able to go back to the relationship we had before she lost her son— or even before she started acting distant to me. My one friend has two kids of her own and said that I am at fault for doing that less than six months after she lost her baby. She also went off on me about how I should have never commented on her weight and that a lot of people would turn to food as a comfort. My girlfriend was diagnosed with binge eating disorder when she was 13. She went to treatment and that's when she became a health nut and said that I will never understand how she currently feels. But we both agreed that we wanted to have more kids. This conversation took place after he passed. So I feel like that should have given her some closure towards his death. I feel like if she's acting this way, then our relationship isn't going to last much longer. I know that her dad told her recently that she is still welcome to move back home and even offered to pay for her grief counseling that she goes to three times a week. I don't know how long I can put up with her having this much attitude. I'm worried that I'm going to make the same mistake if she doesn't take care of my needs soon. I just need to get her back to who she was before. What can I do to help her get over this? Is there anything I can say to make this better? Yeah, you can fucking choke on my dick, bro. That's what you can do. <laughs> do that and then go eat a big pile of fucking shit. Like, that's what you should do. I'm gonna talk to the girl. She needs to leave him immediately. Mm -hmm. Immediately, expeditiously. The minute she... The fact that he makes... The death of her son about him. Yeah, that's bro. Nuts. Fuck you. Like, that's a terrible fucking person. Electric chair. Like, yeah. no, truly, like, truly drop dead, dog. Like, you, if that's real, you deserve to die alone. Like, for real, for real. Like, and I hope you do. I'm, I'm gonna pray for it, honestly. I'll, yeah, let's manifest that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna manifest that for <laughs> she you. She does not deserve anyone. No. Let alone it's her. It's so wild that he knows he fucked up, and then he's like, I just wish you could like go back. Quit being such a bitch, yeah. God. I called you fat once after your son died. Ugh. That's wild. Wild. fucking embarrassing. The, the gaslight's crazy, though, in that message. Like, the way that he's writing it is if he gives a shit about her. Yeah. No, he doesn't. No. He doesn't care no. about her. He cares about him. And it seems like you have no problem putting your dick in other bitches, so why don't you just go do that? I can't believe she stayed with him. I get why. Probably like as probably because she's in the throes of her grief. Yeah. But I mean, like, if she has the option, fucking take it, bitch. Yeah. Like, leave. I'd rather be homeless if that's the case. Yeah. At that point, Ugh. I'd I'd rather I would truly rather like be completely alone, like no parents either. Yeah. Than do that. Like, cause I know he's like supporting her financially. So yeah. maybe she's worried about that. But like at this point, if your parents are like, hey, come back home, 
I'm leaving that night. Oh, yeah. drop a pin. I will pull up with you. Yeah, yeah, I'll literally help move you, babe. And she needs her parents to just show up and be like, this is what we're doing. Exactly. Like to make the yeah. decision for her. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe she hasn't told them like about what, but he, what did. he did. What he did, yeah. about what he did. Obviously, she, they Probably know about not. her son. Maybe, but yeah. like, um, dude. And then he's like, I told her that we could have more kids. Yeah. You're not over the death of your first one. Like that fixes losing a child. Yeah. And only, and on top of that, she had that child so young. Yeah. And she got kicked out of her family for, for having it. Her baby. And still work. Because she, it yeah, out. she was yeah. working. And then if you think too, like he's like, oh, she, and she got diagnosed with an eating disorder, which she is like probably still an active recovery of yeah. even even if you exit treatment. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she's still recovering. Um, always. I think it's, it's like always fighting. Exactly. I think when you have an ED, I think it's like it's not something that ever really goes no, away. No, it's ongoing. It's for like, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think like if she's working and then she got to a place where she was like one extreme from one extreme to the other, yeah. that doesn't necessarily mean it was healthy. Like her coping mechanism, if it was like from one one like end of the spectrum to the other, that True. doesn't necessarily mean it was like a healthy way of coping. No, and you know what? She could be a very, for all we know, she could be a really healthy weight. But like what she was when he was dating yeah. her, when she was a health nut, like she was probably just undersized. Which they age gap, mm -hmm. so they're two years apart. Because yeah. I always think of things like that. nineteen and twenty one. That's yeah, so this, which means she too. was 17 and he was, was 19. 19 so is, minor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She lost her child six months ago and you're still, like you said, Drew, like he's still making it about himself. Yeah. yeah. He's still saying, my needs, you better change. I don't know if I can deal with this erratic behavior mm -hmm. of yours. Oh my God. I don't know how much more I can yeah. put up to with describe, this attitude. Yeah, to describe like, her grief yeah. as that is erratic? just so gross. Yeah. Like, what is it supposed to look like after losing your child? And then well, you doing like the meanest thing you could possibly do to me right now. And, <laughs> and then blaming it on me and then for why you like, did it. It's literally not even six months later. Yeah. Like, are you out of your fucking mind? That's why I saw this TikTok today and it's kind of relevant, but not really. Um, it was this girl and she has these like um, really big like scars on her arms mm -hmm. and she goes every time people see my scars they ask me what happened and I tell them I got stabbed right and she goes and then um, I say I got stabbed by a man and they're like oh, a man and she goes <laughs> they go is he in jail is he in jail like did he get locked up for it did he get in trouble and I go babe did you not fucking hear me he stabbed me he is dearly departed he is no longer <laughs> here right and she goes he is no longer with us he no longer lives on the this earth on this oh plane my God. Uh, after this happened to me and I was like that's me <laughs> if that if that kind of like horrid treatment is what yeah. comes from your yeah. partner when you're in the throes of grief like yeah. throw it in the fucking trash bitch Done. like no that's why I said tell that man I said drop dead or tr or send me a pin honestly oh I'm I seriously would like if I got a message from her and it was like okay Morgan I'm ready for the U-Haul <laughs> I'll expense it. That's a podcast expense, right? <laughs> like, fuck this dude. I, I can't believe how many... That's when you know he, fu he knows like he fucked up with the amount of details he's putting in there. Like... He's trying to find any bit of redemption. Yeah. He's like, let me, let me give... Well, let me give the backstory as if that makes him look any better. Yeah. It just got worse and worse. Yeah. It, Her it, friends it, took that video of me. Okay. As they should. <laughs> Mm, okay. I would have called my friend up and said, "Bitch, you better get down here." So first I saw the tree fucker. Now this yeah, guy. I'm gonna call. <laughs> I'm calling my friend and be like, "I'm gonna go swing on him when he's not looking. I'll wait for you to get here. Here's the pin." Well, that's like one thing. Like I'm, I'm happy her friends took the picture. But if I saw this, if I was in that situation, I saw my besties like shit fucking yeah. boyfriend yeah. walk out with another girl I would have like I'm I'm a little psycho I'm gonna be honest <laughs> I'm like a Tasmanian devil like I'm not scared to like start chirping someone yeah. when like shit like this especially after a couple drinks same yeah. I would have been like where are you going Thomas yeah hey Tommy yeah. <laughs> Tommy who's who's your little friend here yeah. does she know that your um, girlfriend is at home grieving grieving the for loss her lost of her son son while you're over here canoodling, you fucking bitch. Yeah. Tommy, I know you're trying to get your dick wet, but yeah. like, come like that. On. Yeah, I would have caused a scene. That's why I said, I'm going to swing on him. I'll see you here in 10. Yeah. From behind. <laughs> I'm, I'm molly whopping. <laughs> I'm punching the back of his head like like that game at Dave and Buster's. You know, when you go run for any punch <laughs> really punching back. Yeah, to see <laughs> how, how, running much, start. how high the score a full goes. Sprint. Yeah. yeah, a full tilt. 
<laughs> I'm running. I'm running head first towards him, and I'm swinging yeah. as hard as I can. You know, we usually don't promote violence on this show, <laughs> but I think in, in this that case, situation, yeah, it's when necessary, it, especially with the backstory. Yeah. Absolutely. Just seeing the cheating is one thing, but when you factor in all of the other terrible things he's doing to yeah. her, yeah. the way it starts level. with, I called her fat. I'm like, what the heck? And then she also said, I'm like, dang. Then you cheated. What? Like you just keeps going. And he's like, and then now she's like mad at me still. Yeah. She won't let me have sex with the lights on. Just the she most won't shower with me. <laughs> I know, and also showering together every morning. What do you have nowhere to go? You could tell they're codependent. 19, yeah, yeah, dude, <laughs> codependent. Wait, you have nowhere to. That's Im- that's annoying. Like yeah. I'd be like, dude, get out. Dude, I have to shower. I'm my... late. I gotta pee come in, in there. Here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this that's my me time. Don't honestly, come in here. <laughs> I'm like blasting music. I'm in there yeah. by myself doing my scalp scrub. <laughs> yeah, living my life. Justin loves to hop in there with me, and like <laughs> I like I don't know what it is. Like I just always have to pee in the shower, and there's sometimes where I like push him to the back and then like aim the water at him, and I'm just like kind of peeing in there, and I always wonder. I'm like, this I should have done this by myself. <laughs> Like, can you smell and Here that? you are. And now I'm sharing it to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. <sighs> okay. One last Reddit story. And then I've got some uh, listener things to share with you guys. Fun. Fun. Let's do it. Romantic dance with your son? Question mark. Question mark. My boyfriend, 23 male, and I, 23 female, have been together nearly five years. We have been really good friends for about three years before we started dating, and I always liked his parents. Things were great when we first started dating, but within the past year, his mom has taken a turn. He's always been a bit of a mama's boy, but she's really ramped it up in the last year. This year, on a bunch of my special days, birthdays, our anniversary, my graduation party, she calls him and tells him big family news. On my birthday, she told him that she found a lump in her breast three months prior, and left it at that. Hours later, she called back after he was understandably upset the rest of the day and said, quote, oh yeah, it ended up being nothing, but I figured I should tell you. Also happened at my graduation party. She told him that a family member had been in a car crash three weeks prior and now is not doing well. One phone call with bad timing is understandable, but it happens pretty frequently. Also, they talk every day, so there's no reason why she wouldn't have told him prior. (laughs) Three weeks ago. (laughs) Two years ago. (laughs) What? (laughs) Yeah, what the heck? (laughs) Most recently, we were at his grandparents' anniversary party, and he and I were dancing to Perfect by Ed Sheeran. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) About 30 seconds into the song... She came over and pushed me out of the way and said, quote, let me dance with my son. I walked away and he just let it happen, which was probably for the best as to not cause drama. I was super upset by this, as was he, and we had yet another conversation about his mom. They don't treat any of the other significant others like this, and I have no idea what it did to make things like this. She is not a widow nor a single mom. She's been with my boyfriend's dad forever, so I don't believe it has anything to do with a lack of emotional validation. My boyfriend is good at setting boundaries, but she just continues to cross them. How do I go about this? (sighs) Man. It sounds like his mom wants to fuck him. And I would... Not Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Is that the one with Beyonce in it? Yeah, he did a version with her. Yeah. What we're not going to do is talk bad about my good dude, Ed Sheeran. No, I know. I will stand for no slander. <laughs> I'm just slander. saying not his mom wanting to dance with him to perfect. <laughs> yeah, like such a romantic <laughs> song. Are you kidding me? I I don't. I honestly, I think, okay, if you really, really love this dude and you want to marry him, yeah, be you got you got to have the conversation with yeah. the mom. Like yeah. you yourself and he needs really? to be there and you need to have the conversation. I would make him oh, do it. Oh, you got some... He he's already some... done it. He's, oh, okay, he's, okay, he okay. said he's set boundaries and she continues to cross them. Yeah. Then it at needs to be point, something the three At that do. point, family meeting. Yeah. I'm calling it, what the fuck is up with you, bitch? When she has a big day, you're like, we need to have a yeah. meeting. When, you have, when she has a big day, you're going to announce you're pregnant, even yeah. if you're not. Yeah. Every time she has a big I day. I thought I was. I'm sorry. Yeah. Every time she has a big day, <laughs> announce you're pregnant. You yeah. just start out like out playing her at the, <laughs> at the game. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do it. Yeah. I, I think that's fair. You start sneakily putting his phone on do not disturb on any important occasion. <laughs> Just from her. So he her, doesn't see her it. Number. Oh yeah. my God. There was one girl who uh, the mother-in-law always called them at like 1, 1 a.m. at night when they were like trying to be intimate. 
Ah. And so one night she like answered the phone and was like, ah, like making yeah. sex noises and stuff and just caused World War Three. But mom wouldn't take the hint. Yeah. She God wouldn't take the hint. Damn, bro. Some of these moms are weird, bro. Uh-huh. I would literally, I, I would have, if you really, really, really love this dude and you yeah. want to stay with him, because if you don't get out now, it's just going to get worse, especially if you get married, you have kids, anything like that, it's going to get worse. But I mean, I would have a frank conversation with her and I would be like, do you do you have a problem with me? Yeah. Is there a problem that we need? Because I feel like one time is an accident. Two times, okay, a weird coincidence. Three or more, bitch, this is a pattern. Yeah. It's been established. Like, well, something's wrong. Like Completely. And the breast cancer one, where it was like, she called him, said, <laughs> I found a lump. But she already knew it wasn't cancerous. So then she let him sit with that emotional... And that's evil. That's like emotional psychological abuse. Yeah, yeah. literally. That's psychotic. Manipulation. That's psychotic to do to yeah. someone. Let them sit on that one. <laughs> yeah, she's like, and that's not even cancerous. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him later. Fucking bitch. Yeah. I will say though, like she says, my boyfriend is good at setting boundaries, but she just continues to cross them. Your boyfriend isn't good at setting boundaries then because he's not yeah. willing. He's not willing to enforce any consequences. No, that's true. Yeah. That's that's a good point. Because like, like you gotta step up. Just because like, you tell your mom like, please stop doing that, but yeah. then you still let her keep getting away with it. That you're not maintaining. Well, your and then and yeah, in the sense that you need to enforce them. Yeah. So like for example, the dance. Mm-hmm. Like I'd be like, hold on, like. He should have been like, no, I want to dance with my girlfriend. I'll, I'll dance with you, you next. next. Yeah. You know, yeah. during the YMCA. I'm not going to dance during this with you. Like, <laughs> you don't have to say all that. Just be like, no, no, no. Just let me dance with my girlfriend. Just yeah. for a second, I'll dance with you after. Like, he should have, like, stood up for you. Yeah. But I get why he may not. Because, like, he may feel, you know what I mean? Like, he's caught it's between. in front of people. Well, yeah, yeah. And he's caught between a rock and a hard place. I give you props for being mature. And not being like, what the fuck is your problem, bitch? Yeah. Right? Like, as soon as, like. I wouldn't do that, but I would be mad. I'd be mad. I'd be, I would have went home. I would have went and sat in the car yeah. and waited to leave. And cried. Yeah. yeah. I would have been really pissed. I would have got a little drunk in the corner. <laughs> and then confronted her yourself. I Why just do you? say some <laughs> sly comments under my breast sometimes <laughs> <laughs> when I get heated. I think you need to tell him to enforce his boundaries if that's too much for him then, or it doesn't then work. Then tell him you're going to do it and then watch what happens. Yeah. Well, and tell him too, like, if this continues to happen, I don't want to be with you anymore. And see, mm-hmm. like, if that really makes him do something about it because mm-hmm. otherwise, yeah. you know what I mean? He's just, he's encouraging the behavior by not, like, and enforcing the consequence, like you yeah. said. Nipping it in the, the bud. Yeah, yeah there you exactly. go. Uh, top comment on this one, which only has... I don't know why it's the top. Maybe it's the best because it only has two upvotes. But it's from someone and they go, I'm always grossed out by romantic gestures given to adult children from parents. My dad used to playfully slap me on the butt. And once I was about 12, it gave me the ick. Ew. Right, rightfully so. That's, Her own dad? Yeah. Yuck. Yeah. That's oh, a little my weird. dad used to do this to hurt my head if we weren't listening. Does that count? <laughs> Knuckles on the scalp. <laughs> that's a little more tame compared to an ass, <laughs> ass slap. <laughs> I that's funny because I even as a child and now I hate being touched touched I, I hate being I hate being hugged I hate any dude, and Dayson, I'm so bad at hugs yeah Dayson loves to hug like so she always hugs me for no reason I'm always <laughs> like dude come on get off me bro <laughs> like I just hate that kind of intimacy for some reason I'm just like ah okay that's enough yeah, yeah. I don't care if my mom or dad want to hug me or Billy but like anybody else I'm like I, no, thank you. Unless they're like greeting someone, yeah. Yeah, if you're greeting someone, I just yeah. mean like I mean an unplanned like, hug. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm like, oh, fuck. Let me just take myself out right now. <laughs> it's like an uninvited hug. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean, like someone, if it's a mutual, like yeah, ah, like a greeting. Embrace, yeah. A greeting is fine or whatever. It's like a, a spontaneous hug. I guess yeah. is the way I describe it. It gives me the ick. Like, like if I, I got up and came over and hugged you. Right yeah, now. <laughs> like if she hugged me, I'd be like, okay, that's enough. Oh man, <laughs> my brother loves to hug too and yeah. I'm always like okay that's enough yeah, that's, that's enough. enough thank you <laughs> <sighs> you guys are hilarious <laughs> so your show Two Idiot Girls is amazing thank you you guys have done some so like some seriously funny 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 fucking episodes lately <laughs> and so you really involve your listeners in your show which I love mm-hmm. and so 
recently you asked like what are weird things you did as a child yeah, yeah. you asked for like date horror stories yes. mm-hmm. you've been asking for all kinds of stuff yes so to give you a taste of my listeners and hopefully steer some of them your way so they can come engage. and ask us whatever you want yeah. yeah so i asked people today i was like what's the weirdest high thought but i'm sober that you've had pop in your head today <laughs> and so like i always have these weird thoughts where like okay, we, we ride like a lot of animals. Like we ride horses, cows can be ridden, but like, well, hasn't anyone like tried to ride a moose yet? Yeah. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. So I always have these crazy thoughts. So today, like mine was like, what if I'm six months pregnant and like, don't even know? Dude, like I could I, see that's me. That's her. That's me. Yeah. Dude, and that's a nightmare for me. I think I'm going to be the one that has like a toilet baby. <laughs> like I, I could see that being me. <laughs> You go and you pound like anything to see if it makes you like sick or something. Like yeah. if you get, and if you get a little nauseous, you're like, oh my god, morning sickness. <laughs> That's her. That's me. Just, not oh anymore. Not so much anymore. But yeah, yeah. that was my illness for, for a while. Maybe, it was so bad. But maybe you had morning sickness and now you're over it. Second trimester. Maybe that really big <laughs> shit I took the other day wasn't was just baby. shit, dude. Every period, I'm like, this is this is not a normal period. There's a lot of <laughs> tissue in there. <laughs> Every time. Like, I just, like, I freak myself out. I'm such same. a hypochondriac. Yeah. Same. Yeah, once same. I had a really bad period, and I told my doctor, and she was like, maybe you had, like, a miscarriage. I go, girl, there's no way that's possible. <laughs> but I was like, what You're is all, it? And, like, a miracle, maybe? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Unless Jesus Christ himself said <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, he said, no like, way. the Virgin Mary, maybe. Yeah. You know, accidental insemination at a pap smear? Yeah. <laughs> that was me. Listen. What shit happens, <laughs> dude. <laughs> so, people responded, and they go, uh, touching the car battery would be fun. <laughs> are you not? Are you, I was like, are you not allowed to do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll well, die. Did the car. Okay. If the car's off, you can touch it, though, right? No, I don't believe I don't, so. I don't think so. Listen, anything with the car. I don't know anything about Anything it, with yeah. the car, I genuinely resort to like what misogynistic men believe women are. Yeah. That's me when I, I think about cars. That. Yeah. That's like, like, I'm the embodiment of that caricature of like vapid women with no like cognitive thought whatsoever mm. that's me when you talk to me about cars okay. like i don't like i hear you talking to me and i'm like i'm i'm not gonna absorb any of this because i mm-hmm. me and cars just don't match i don't care no yeah. i not, don't care the car friends. is white my dad's gonna help me that's all i care about i call my dad about everything <laughs> yeah. having to do with my car always i, I feel that i feel that <laughs> it's always like can you not touch the battery <laughs> <laughs> so, oh okay i think you you can't touch it with like metal. Yeah, I think yeah. you could like just poke the yeah, plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, or you have to be okay. careful when you're doing it. Like they're like, yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Don't trust like, us. Me oh, saying I, no I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, if everything on Earth is made of water, then could we hypothetically drink ourselves? I mean, if you could fuck a Parts tree, you could it. probably <laughs> drink yourself. <laughs> like, if you could finger bang a tree, I think anything's anything possible, is possible at this yeah. point. This one really fucked me up. A lap isn't real. It only occurs when we sit down. Oh, I, when you said lap, I thought you meant like running, running a lap. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I thought. Until a I, lap. Yeah. Oh, like we're we're like I was thinking like where cats sit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. If by those standards, anything that is a chair is a lap. There you go. Wow. There you go. That was deep. We're all sitting on someone's lap right now. Technically speaking, yeah. I'm on this chair's lap. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Can rescue pets have flashbacks of their life before rescue? I always think of that because I rescued my cats from my parents' barbecue. <laughs> and I always wonder, well, do you think they remember what it was like in there? And sometimes they act like they live in there. I can tell. <laughs> I don't. I honestly don't know. I think I think that like pets, like unless it's like something that's consistent, like a human or like food, like when it's time to eat, any, anything that helps them survive they like hold on to. Yeah. But like, if it's like anything else, like I feel like a lot of times their brains are plugged in and then wiped every night. And they're like, I don't remember. You know, like some mm-hmm. dogs like will never remember that they don't like the vacuum until they see oh, the vacuum. Oh, yeah. yeah. They hate that vacuum. Yeah. So like they'll, they'll never know unless you bring it out and they're like, oh my God, I think I don't what like is that, that thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They relive it every time. Yeah. So I don't know. But then again, you know, there are some dogs who like, some have, dogs are a little flinchy. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they've been abused or yeah. whatever. So like we had yeah. a dog like that. Yeah. So I think it's like that's why I said unless it's consistent, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think they hold on to anything. And honestly, I envy that. Okay. okay. I yeah. wish I could wipe my brain sometimes <laughs> of any <laughs> cognitive thought. 
The one I get a lot is that somewhere right now, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is just existing. <laughs> it's crazy to think about. Yeah, just being himself. <laughs> is it normal to drink at 4.30? No, it's really not. It must be a Wisconsin thing. I don't know. What time do we start today? <laughs> I don't know. I think like three, two or three. Three forty five. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, the rock the rock thing is fucking me up. <laughs> Just the thought of him like you know what I was thinking the other day? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like the, it's in the same vein as sure. like the okay, rock shit. Okay. But like us sitting here okay, so like obviously like the three of us are like social media people now. Yeah. And like, okay, this isn't me sucking my own titty, but like <laughs> I, I'm not the rock, obviously. But like there are a lot of people that would do anything to like hang out with us. I'm not I tell you that. I don't all, think I'm I that cool. Morgan. Morgan, you're not giving Girl. yourself enough credit. Yeah. But like there are people that would be like, oh my God, like I would just love to see like what they do like In a normally. Day. Every time we're at her house, like I remember when her New York Times article came out. Yeah. Like all of us were really emotional because we were like, yeah, like I was telling huge. Drew, like, do you think my dad ever imagined like well, me yeah. trying not to cry? seeing her last name in the fucking New York Times. Yeah, it's you know? pretty nutty. And so we all went to her house and we bought like cookies and she was sitting there like just being herself and I was looking at her and I was telling her, like, do, you, do you know how much people would pay to sit in here and watch her and she's just so irritating and just yeah. herself at Well, all I just times. think like, can you imagine like The Rock like... Yeah. Like getting up and like taking his morning dump. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like he goes to the surreal. human stuff too. Yeah, yeah. He goes to the bathroom. He's just like us. He takes a shit. Yeah. yeah like <laughs> just like things where he's existing as a normal person. Yeah. Like what's a normal person thing? Like loading grocery the dishwasher. Shopping. Yeah. yeah grocery like shopping, taking out the trash. Washing clothes. Thinking yeah. about him doing that shit like makes me laugh. Yeah. Because I. Like, picking up her dog shit. Like. Oh my God. Picking up. I mean, he probably pick, doesn't pick up his own dog shit, but like maybe he does. <laughs> Who knows? I pick up mine. <laughs> but like my dog shit, you're wondering guys my yeah. dog shits are probably the same size as Dwayne the Rock Johnson's honestly he poops yeah, like a full say, grown man I've never seen your you dog, set up your little guy he poops like a full grown yeah. man like his shits are like this big which is insane but anyways I was literally thinking I'm like when I was eating my firehouse sub earlier <laughs> I was like with Spencer yeah. I was literally thinking like someone would kill to be sitting here watching us eat these subs and like just yeah. listen to us like that's kiki so and talk yeah. that's wild to think about just like, doing like normal people shit like yeah. yeah like think about like the hadids like what do those bitches do <laughs> what are they doing you know what i, I mean <laughs> like do they sit and they like pick their nose you know what i mean do they like dude people everyone picks their nose if you don't pick yeah. your nose they're oh there's a saying it's like well i've been saying it <laughs> um you either pick your nose or you lie about picking your nose. Yeah, and yeah. I'm a nose picker. I don't yeah. know. I just well, sit there sometimes and me and Justin are just like, I'm just like picking. Yeah, like the, <laughs> the Hadids, like, do they like itch their coochies? You know what I mean? When yeah. they're laying down, like on the, you know, like, do they pick wedgies and they're like, ugh. You know what I mean? Do they smell their belly button lint? Yeah. yeah, like, do they just lay down and like exist as a normal person? It seems like it, the answer is no. Yeah. Doesn't it? <laughs> like I, they, I would say no. <laughs> like, I would say that's no. That's what it seems like to me. I loved The Rock's uh, TikTok where he like drove up on one of those Hollywood like vans. Oh, I love like, when he hey does guys. those. They're so cute. He's they're like, like, what the heck? He's such a dad. I love such my a dad. favorite thing on his I love that he's such a dad content. He's like, check out these banana pancakes. <laughs> French toast for the win. Hashtag cheat day. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, that's the most rock shit ever. That's so much peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah. PB oh for my real ones. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the most dad captions ever. I love that shit. I'll eat it up. He has a viewer in me for life. <laughs> okay, last one Disney related since we're all Disney yes. adults love. here. Yes. <laughs> in Lightning McQueen's cars world, do the cars have life insurance or car insurance? I would say life insurance yeah. because there are no too. cars. cars. They're just cars. Sense, they, they just are. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Where can people listen to your podcast? How can they find you? What it's called? Give them, give them the scoop. Our podcast is called Two Idiot Girls. Yes. You can listen to it anywhere you stream podcasts and then you can find it on our YouTube channel, which is also Two Idiot Girls Podcast. Yes. And you can find us on all socials at Drew Offwallow yeah, and Jason Offwallow. And then our Instagram for Two Idiot Girls is underscore Two Idiot Girls. And then I'm trying to think what else. That's it. I'll yeah. be sure to link everything too. So people in the show notes, the description of all the videos, just click. Easy to find, easy to follow. Also, Drew gave me a little present. I got to stand up and show it off. I did. Yeah. I gave Morgan the goods. Let's I'm going to send her and give her and Justin more goodies yes. later when I get them. I'm, I'm obsessed. So I'm so glad you like it. Be sure to check out her new merch as well because it's amazing. Like this is thick. It's good quality. And yeah. I'm not giving Justin anything. <laughs> 
I was gonna say, Justin. No chance. You heard it here first. I tried to give you both stuff. <laughs> She's like, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. <laughs> Nick, cut. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much. Oh, wait, for coming we're going on. on tour in January. <gasps> oh yeah, my god, tell right them. Now. Yeah, tell the people. Yes. When do you think this will go live? Like near the end of September? October eighth. Okay, October we will have announced it, but we're going on tour in January, so make sure you check out our Instagram for all the details. Amazing. I yes. need to come to your show. I'm excited. Yeah, Are you you're kidding? Invited. You're absolutely invited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I don't think I have any other announcements. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for coming on. We fucking love Morgan. I know. Stop. We, we <laughs> adore Morgan and Justin. Literally, Billy the other day was like, we should hang out with Morgan and Justin. Dude, I know. So down. I was like, I know. We're all Disney adults, so we'll all go we there. We need to yeah. go. We keep saying we're going we to. Got to. We That's my place we of worship. To. So yeah. Just give me a date ahead of time. We'll request a little passes from Justin's little fancy Disney shit. And we'll fun. Be there. Ooh, fun. Love. Yeah. Thank you so be much there. for having us. I we know. love Morgan and Justin. Two Hot Takes is the best. Us. Make sure you guys, guys follow and subscribe to them too if you haven't already. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.